calendar. From Thursday the 21st of May at 6pm to Tuesday the 26th of May at 6pm. We will be bringing you all your crafting favourites along with a bonus that lets you save as you spend. When you make any purchase during the event, you will be given a £5 credit to spend against any purchase of £30 or more on the following day. So don't miss out on Hochanda's Spring Savers event blooming onto your screens from 6pm on Thursday the 21st of May. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. I think for me, crafting is so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. I'm really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well, and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Touch On. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with a Chanda easier. Good morning, everybody. A warm welcome to Hochanda. One of my favorite parts of being a presenter here is getting to introduce you to brand new suppliers. Now, uh, we have got a guest in the studio who you would have seen before. It is the lovely Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca, give everyone a wave. Morning, there everybody. She is. So, uh, <laughs> Rebecca has guested, but what Rebecca has also done with uh, her friend Amy is they've created their own business and look they know what they're doing they are crafters they love their avid crafters they love what they do and they decided to offer it to anyone else and you know what's nice just talking to Rebecca because so many viewers have had that same thought they're, they're, they're talented crafters and always wanted to do it so showing it really can uh, be done we've got some lovely projects on the show uh, we're gonna go down the counter but uh, before we do that uh, should, should we ask a little bit about the company Rebecca so tell us a little bit about the company how did it all come about uh, well, my friend Amy and I, we decided we both love craft, but we've got really different skills. So I know Amy's watching, so good morning, Amy. I'm really yeah. sorry she can't be here, but social distancing, so it's yeah. me, but she would be. Uh -huh. So I can sew and Amy can draw. Amy can't sew and I can't draw, so it works really well. So uh, together, I've designed the projects and Amy's created all the patterns and all the illustrations. And then we've decided to, to make it really unique and different for people. We've printed fabric panels. Yeah. So everything you need is on the panel. You will also need a little bit of backing fabric and haberdashery, but mainly everything you need is on the panel. And they're completely exclusive to us. And, you know, because both of us, and my background is in the craft industry. I've written instructions for years. I've worked on craft magazines. And Amy's background is in illustration, surface pattern design. So we decided that we join forces. And, you know, we're good friends and we thought it would be a bit of fun. And what a force <laughs> it is. I've got to ask you, Amber makes, who, who's Amber? Well, it's clever, it's clever really. It's yeah. Amy yeah. and Rebecca. So ah. AM and then REB. Oh, it's like, it's like when yeah, celebs get together. together. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And so, Amber makes. makes. Yes. So <laughs> Amy and Rebecca make. You I see? like it. And uh, we thought A's a good name, isn't it? If you, if you begin with A, then you're always at the beginning. 
very true. <laughs> hey, you know, if you're Yanis, trust me, at school, I was on oh, the end. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what we can do. We will uh, show you everything on the show. Uh, now, Rebecca touched on a point. So everything you're going to be seeing is a Hochanda exclusive, and we're so happy uh, to offer you Hochanda exclusives. Now, first option, I'm... Everyone, regular viewers to Hochanda will know, I love cats. I love dogs as well, but I'm a massive cat fan. My parents have Snowy the cat, who's a little princess, madam actually. Uh, if you are a cat fan, if you do love uh, your little fur babies, look, we've got... Now, with this bundle, and as Rebecca was saying, you're getting a panel. Uh, with that panel, you're able to make six individual projects. From this handsome cat cushion, we say, look, at this, so cute. Uh, so you've got cat cushion. You've also got the cat bag. Now, having a look here, isn't that nice? So that could be a little bag to put all your little pussycat treats, your toys, maybe, or just to go out and celebrate the fact that you love your pussycats. Uh, also, a little purse to put in there as well. Oh. Or how about having a look here? You've got your little 3D cat. You know what you could do? You could put some, oh, I tell you what you could do, you put some catnip in there. Yeah. Put a little bit of catnip yeah. in there and it would be yeah. a cat's best friend. Uh, another bag in the mix, so two bags. There we go. And then you are getting, uh, you can make a little canvas project as well, so a bit of canvas art. Uh, okay, so just, um, I'm going to open up the panel. Just tell us, Rebecca, so within the panel, now, do, do we get instructions with this? Yes, yeah, so in the kit you get the fabric panel, which you're showing now, and you get full instructions. So in the instructions it tells you all the other bits and pieces you need, which really are just sort of a bit of backing fabric for the cushions, some zips, thread, um, and then the instructions tell you exactly how to make everything. So I've been writing instructions for years, so I know how to explain things so they work, hopefully. And we've got photo walkthrough, so it tells you step by step how to do it. And on the back of the instructions are our email address and all our social media. If you've got any questions or any problems, you can get in touch with both of us. Lovely. So on that panel, we've got everything we need. Not everything we need, but we've got all the imagery we need for the six projects. And then we would add a few other elements. Yes. And the clever thing is, is that there are four different cats. So there's a black cat, a black and white, a tabby and a ginger. And the way that I've designed it is, so for all the cushion and the bag and the picture, you can choose which cat you have, because the cats are all the same size. Uh. So you start off, the first thing you have to do, and it says instructions, is choose your favourite cat. And then you can choose what to put on. And then there are some paw prints and complementary cat prints, so that if, if you look at the cushion, there's some binding strips around the edge of the cushion. That's got little cats on. The bag has got paw prints that go around. So all the, the most important things you need are on the panel. Lovely. It's 100% cotton, digitally printed, really good quality. It is, and you can feel that quality. Right, details are on your screen, and it's proving to be a popular one. If you do want to pop this into your basket, $29.99, your price, and you get to make six of the most beautiful cat projects. So uh, if you are a cat lover, or if you know a cat lover, this is definitely an option worth considering. Uh, okay, going to move on. Uh, just to remind you, everything you're seeing here, first time we've shown it to you, brand new company in the form of Amber Makes, and these are all exclusive to Hachanda. As we move on, you're going to love this. Look at that. Wow. So this is your cottage. Uh, it is a printed fabric panel with instructions, but my goodness, the detail. So uh, what would we be using our cottage for? Well, it's a doorstop. Oh, okay. It's do if you pick it up, you'll feel it's really heavy. You can fill it wa with whatever you like. I filled mine with some stones from the path, so it's some gravel, but yeah. you can fill it with all sorts of things, rice, dried the most peas. beautiful doorstop uh, I think I've ever seen. I, like well, I love doorstops. Love a doorstop. And have you then embellished a little further with some embroidery? Well, the way it works is that all of those pieces, there's mm -hmm. no templates, because I've tried to make this really easy, so there's no templates involved. On the panel, all the yep. pieces already printed, so all you have to do is cut round them and sew it together. Obviously, all the instructions are there to tell you how to do it. But what I've done with, with, I've thought about these projects, I want them to be able to appeal to beginners. So somebody who hasn't sewn before and thinks, oh, well, that's okay, I could just cut it out and sew it together. But I also want people to learn and move with us. And for the more intermediate sewers, there are pieces on there of a plique that you can sew on top. But you can also embroider it. So on the um, 
front of the cottage, there's roses round the door and there's window boxes and I've embroidered on top of those. Now you don't have to if you don't really fancy doing that but if you want to move that one step further or you want to do a bit of sew machine sewing but you also want to do some hand sewing, you can do both. But all the instructions are in there and it explains, you know, if you don't want to do this then skip it. But I'm trying to encourage people who are just starting out in sewing to make something that's easy and beautiful. That's actually a great description because it is easy, but I mean, as doorstops go, that is absolutely stunning for $24.99. Now, you're not just getting the doorstop, you're also getting the smaller cottage in the mix as well, uh, which you can see there. Details on your screen, $24.99, your price, 372-679, your item number. Now, a lot of you have been shopping ahead, and I love this. So savvy shoppers, regular Stowe Chanda know you can get ahead on our website or using the Ho Chanda app. Uh, the quilt. Now this is a quilt with a difference because you've got a beautiful uh, window, a vista looking out onto, we've got three individual scenes. Uh, look at this. So this is your blossom view with the little pussy cat. I tell you what I'll do, let me just pop these down for a moment because then we can have a proper look because it's worth, it is worth seeing. So uh, this is one option for you. Blossom view. I love the detail. Little uh, chevrons at the bottom. Oh, look at the cat. So you can have the little cat on there. Rebecca, uh, if uh, we don't want the cat on there, then we just don't put it on? Yeah, no, that's a completely optional thing. So okay. on the panel, you have the photo printed, which you then cut into pieces and sew back together. And the cat is a separate piece that's printed on your panel, and you can applique it on or not. That's completely up to you. What I'll do, I'll open it up just so we get the idea. So that is the completed uh, quilt. And if I just show you here, I have to say for $29.99, I think that is very good value. And you're getting the instructions and that's important as well. So just showing you uh, everything that you're getting on the panel. So with the instructions, Rebecca, because obviously a big aspect of this quilt uh, the attic window is that sort of 3D aspect, the window effect. We, we get uh, the instructions on how to achieve that? Yes, and in there it tells you what else you need to buy. So we haven't put the plain fabrics in the quilt because I thought people would like to choose. You need a lighter, medium and a dark. Now I've chosen whites and greys, but you might decide you want a blue window frame or a brown one, but all the details of what you need extra, and all it is is just plain cotton fabrics, nothing that's difficult to find. Nice. Um, but also, I decided to, again, the same with the thatch cottage, I wanted to make it easy so you can just make the attic window and then bind it. But I thought if you want to go one step further and do a little bit of patchwork, I've also included flying ge geese blocks around the edge and on the panel there's a um, printed rectangle in a print that complements the main scene and you use that and cut it up and that's the triangles that are around the yeah. either sides of it. So I, I knew and I knew that was flying geese I should have said I said <laughs> chevrons I knew I know flying geese um, we're just looking at the different options so there that was Venice and I do believe that's a Rialto bridge it uh, is. in Venice there it is stunning uh, and then we've got a Final uh, option for you that we will uh, just try and show everyone. This is a looping view coming through. They are all beautiful images, and there's something I was chatting to Haley before the show, and this is one that she had her eye on. Uh, apologies, we've, we're going to be showing you some seven day savers, you can see peeking up there. Um, but Haley was saying she loves the aspect, and what she really likes about this as well is the knowledge of being able to make the attic window too. So you get a beautiful panel. But you're getting the instructions because that's somewhere where... Well, yeah, and you can keep those instructions. You yeah. can use them again for other things. There's often other panels you can buy. And sometimes you see panels and think, well, I don't really know what to do with this. Yeah. But alternatively, you don't need to make it an attic window. You can just have the panel, cut it out, quilt it, and it's, and it's finished. But you have got the instructions to do that. And also, learn with us. Learn a bit of patchwork. Learn a plique. And you'll notice on the Venice one, I didn't put the cat on there. The cat is on the panel, but I just wanted to show it to you what it looked like without the cat. Well, do you know what I would be tempted to do? I love the aspect of having the cat looking out, but then, and I was like a bargain, I might be thinking of putting the cat onto a cushion and yeah. then getting another project out of that. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to. That's why we've, yeah. I've tried to keep it very optional so that you don't have to do it. At all points in the instructions, it says this is the way you don't need to do this. So yeah. if you don't want to put all the borders around, you can just stop. Once you've finished doing the attic window, you can stop at that point. But mm -hmm. learn with us or use that printed piece to make something else. It is a beautiful quilt. And I think now three different options. So you've got the, uh, there's a Venice, you've got the Blossom, and you've got the Lupin. So three options to choose from. 
for 30, uh, sorry, not even 30, for 29.99. I think that is great value for money for that panel. 914-444, uh, your item number, and of course you are getting the instructions, which is important. Now, something that we have brought to you uh, before, the uh, Fabi weights, very busy for these. So the Fabi set of uh, fabric weights with the gift tin as well, 9.99 your price. You pick whichever option you, uh, you would like. So you got your six regular, your four medium, or your four large for nine ninety nine. Uh, so think about leatherettes, silk, any fabrics that you do need to uh, weight down, and it's something that we can check. You don't, and also this is another important part: it's you don't have to pin using your weights. Uh, and I know sometimes that can damage delicate fabrics. Nine ninety nine, your price. You just pick the option that speaks to you. So uh, your uh, small, six small, or your four medium, your four more large. Nine seven two two eight five, your item number. Uh, I think we will be heading to Rebecca to see our first demonstration. Let's jump onto the website first and have a look. Lots on the website. So uh, what you're going to be popping into your basket. You can shop by brand as well. So Amber makes brand new supplier, uh, brand new company to Hochanda. It is a small business. I was going to say family run business, friend, friend run business. Yeah, you know, friendly like, run business. Friendly run yes. business. It's literally uh, Rebecca and Amy, but they have an enormous amount of knowledge and crafty wealth uh, behind them. And they spent years and years. I know that Rebecca was saying that she'd been uh, working uh, magazines and there's a lot going on there. Now, we have got the iron, by the way, on the show as well. I know that was popular in the past. It's our dry iron. Look out for the freedom price there and scissors. So, uh, Rebecca, what are we going to see first? Well, I'm just going to do a quick talk through the attic windows. Obviously, there's a lot involved with it. I can't show you everything, but I've just picked up on a few things. Okay. So the first thing you do is you get your panel, which I, I've got one here, and I didn't really want you to be intimidated by and think when you open it up, oh, my Lord, there's, you know, I've got this great big panel of photos. So I'll just show you. You've got this big photo. Now, what we've done is it's slightly bigger than you actually need it to be because the most important part of, the of an attic window is accurate cutting, and if you cut it, correctly it's easy to put together so I've made sure it's bigger than you actually need so the first thing you have to do is trim it all of this is in the instructions so don't worry you don't need to remember any of this all the measurements are there so look at the size of the the picture they can't see me so the first thing you do is cut it out and it gives you all of the measurements in the instructions about what you do I've done this in advance and it's very important once you cut it out you think you might remember which piece is which in the instructions it explains there's a cutting diagram and it tells you what size you need to make cut which piece but do label them because you will forget and then you'll end up with a very odd picture you'll have sky so if you see i'm going to just show you is it okay to put them upside down or do they need to be the right way up uh, you're on the overhead, so right way up. Sorry. Right way up. So, here I'll just show you. So, because you see I've cut the sky, it's very important that I know. And also, make sure that you know which way up they are. So, I've, I'll show you just here. One, two, three. What I did to make this a little bit easier is I drew the lines on the... Cut it, cut it to the exact size first, so trim off what you want. Which means that you have a little bit of option. You can have more sky or more grass, whichever way. Um, draw the lines on the back in pencil or an erasable pen and then cut along them because if you cut it out first and you cut the strips one way or the rows the other then you might forget which is which so that's just a, a little tip for you so you can see now that there's one two three so there's the clouds six I'm going backwards now I won't be able to show you them all five and four so as you can see they're all different measurements so you've got piece five here is a very big one because that's the centre. So in order to get that attic windows feel, it's narrow at the top and the bottom and wider in the middle. And then you've got these little pieces. And the way that Amy has designed them and placed the photo is so that you've got the right elements in the right place. It's not just random. So if you can see with this one, we've got that one loop in that just goes on the right. So it has been really thought about. So once you've cut them all out, here we are, here's seven and eight and nine I think they look really good when you cut them out really green and vibrant um, just keep them keep the labels on until you've 
joined the whole thing together. Honestly, I'm telling you from experience because I made one a few years ago and I sewed it together in the wrong way. <laughs> I thought I knew which was which, but yeah. you know, you might think that's a piece of sky and it doesn't matter, but it does join together. If you get it upside down, it looks really funny. So. You, you touched on something, just the, the vibrancy of the image is incredible. Yeah, I'm really so pleased. We, we both spent time looking at different fabrics and fabric prints and what worked and what didn't. And to us, it was really important that the colours shine out. And if you look at these lupins, I mean, they are absolutely perfect. It's like printing on paper. But... Um, since we've had these printed, I've used them, I've ironed them, I've steamed them, I've cut them, I've sewn them, nothing changes. You won't find that when you press them, because if I can't press these with steam, then I'm not interested, because that's the most important part of piecing and patchwork, is that you're steam pressing, you're pressing seams open, you're top stitching. They've got, if any of the print came off, it, it, it would ruin the whole thing. Course, yeah. So we, have, we were particularly fussy about that. <laughs> Brilliant. I've just got to tell you, as we we're uh, pausing there, we're busy for our quilt. So uh, we have got three different options for you. And that's, uh, I love being able to uh, give you those options. Over 10% of the stock has gone for the blossom. Do you know what I might do? Uh, I'm just going to uh, just take the uh, quilt up and just show you properly, so in full. And I need to point out something, and apologies, I should have said this actually a little bit earlier. Uh, everything on the show, there is going to be an extended dispatch. You don't have to wait too long, so everything will be dispatched on the 30th of May. So not long to wait at all. Bear with me. Let me just pick this up. Is it, can I pick this up close? Not. Yeah, there we go. It's not. I mean that. When you consider, it's a big quilt. I'll just put it over here. Now look at the size of the quilt that you're able to make. Now I do realize uh, that you are going to have to add a little bit of plain into the mix. But the main feature, the hard parts to find, are already covered in there. You do not need to put the cat on if you don't want to. The cat is included in the pattern. Now, I think it's a nice quirky little touch. But you definitely don't have to put it on if uh, you don't wish to. But when you see, and the print already is beautiful, but also you're getting that education on how to uh, have a look at the window and how to create this quilt. Because as a quilt, it is a concept quilt. It's a lovely design. And then you have that knowledge to go on and make your own attic window quilts as well. $29.99 is your price. 914-444. Sorry, uh, yeah, 29 price. 914-444, your item number there. Uh, we also have the cats. Now, here's the thing. I know how many cat lovers there are at Hochanda. I know whenever, funny enough, whenever we do a little poll yes. or we ask for pictures, send in your cat pictures, your dog pictures, uh, there are, I know there, there are a hardcore element of uh, fans out there who love their pussy cats. This is a set for you. You are getting a panel to make six beautiful projects with your fur babies. Look at that. That is a very calm little pussy cat. This cat, I like this one because this cat, it, looks like a slightly younger cat very playful he's like he's just seen you've picked up the little ball of uh, yarn and he's, he's ready to play and over here this is another young little pudgy cat oh now she's just seen you've got you've got the treats out you've shaken the bag and she's she's ready she's alert uh, or maybe you want to just quite simply do a little bit of canvas art have that hanging in a room so six uh, projects on a panel, and it's something we might look at a bit later on this hour. But let's get back to uh, Rebecca and continue with our quilt. Okay, so I'm just going to show you each of the panels is treated in exactly the same way. You just use different length strips. Again, all the measurements are in the instructions, so you don't have to remember any of this. So the first thing that we're going to do is sew the top which I've called the top recess, to the top of here. So all you do, is, if I was you, follow the instructions, cut out all your fabric. You're going to need lots of strips of light fabric, medium fabric and dark fa fabric. I've cut out, cut them all out in advance and label them because you've got top recesses, bottom recesses, side recesses. And because, as I explained earlier, some of the pieces are long, some of the pieces are short, and so you have different sizes, but just label them. It's really simple. It, it tells you in the instructions what they're called and which ones, but cut everything out in advance and then you know you've got everything. Also, you've then got the boring bit out of the way. Put the radio on, cut everything out, and then start your sewing. So you, this is the top recess, and all you do, you see it fits exactly, because I've cut it properly. You put it right sides together to the top of number one, and you do the same 
for all of them. And then all you have to do is sew it together. Now, I, there is a quarter of an inch seam allowance in these instructions. I really struggled with creating these designs using whether should I use a metric or imperial it's always a big difference isn't it some people prefer one some people prefer the other but what I decided in the end was that with the projects that are patchwork I've used imperial most patchworkers use imperial they use the quarter inch seam allowance for the other projects like the cottage and the cat cushion I've used metric because a lot of people who do homeware prefer metric so I mean obviously you can change but stick to one rather than the other but with the patchwork I think most people use a quarter of an inch the measurements are very specific and very exact so it's important that you use the right seam allowance now if you haven't done patchwork before and you think oh god I hate doing that I'm never going to get it right what I would do is draw the quarter of an inch seam allowance on your fabric before you start and that's really simple um, just take a ruler and I'm, I always use a heat erasable pen because they're brilliant because the um, they're easily ironable off and then just with a ruler draw the quarter of an inch seam allowance and draw it on now honestly you obviously your machine foot will have the quarter of an inch so you can use that if you're more experienced but if you've never done this before and are worried draw it on first and sew along it by the time you have sewn all the top strips to these pieces because there's nine of them you will be a perfect straight sewer honestly so look upon this as a bit of a practice piece but just draw it on first so, okay, so okay. I'm just going to sew this so you can see. Always reverse stitch at the beginning, and then just, I mean, I, I don't need to use the drawline because I'm using the um, markings on my machine foot plate. But it's just a really good way of learning. And if you use um, a heat erasable pen, then it'll just iron off. Yeah. So there's your first seam. That was easy, wasn't it? And then all you do is you press the seam open I always press them open some people press them to one side that's a personal preference but take time with your steam iron which I haven't got here but it doesn't really matter okay. to press them open okay lovely so that's stage one okay <laughs> would you like me to do a recap no no I can do I can carry on with yeah, the next go for it. Let's go for with the next two. stage yeah. so now you've done this to all of them some of the strips have this at the top some of them have them at the, the, the top row has them at the top the middle row them has them at the top and the bottom and the bottom row has them at the bottom but again it's all in the instructions and in that and by doing that that creates the perspective it's using the the white fabric the light fabric is where the light shines then the medium and then the window frames are in the dark fabric so if you want to choose a different colour, maybe a brown or a blue or a biscuity colour, just choose three different shades. Now, in order to create the perspective, you need an angle. So the way that this is done, there's different ways of doing attic windows, and I've tried lots of different methods, and I think that this one is the easiest. So you cut recessed corner squares like this and then this is one of the side strips that goes down the edge that's where the light shines to make it light all you have to do is with again you this is drawn on the wrong side so it doesn't really matter I, again I always use a heat erasable pen but you could use a pencil but not something that's really really dark just take a ruler and draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other just like that and then you take one of your side strips which you've cut in advance and you pin it to the top like that now in the instructions it explains there are different sorts of strips and the angles have to go different ways but I've explained very clearly on some strips the diagonal corner needs to go from the top right to the bottom left on others it has to go from the top left to the bottom right but actually what you need to do is the photo on the instructions on the front cover there's a full-size photo of the blossom view and then in the instructions as well which I will show you somewhere oh where's my instructions gone over here um so there's that one but also here here are the instructions it shows you everything um there's all the walkthrough pictures of how to do it so you can see on there and i'll show you in a minute but this is exactly how to do it but there's also pictures of the venice view and the looping view because so that whichever of those panels you buy you'll get the same instructions but at any point, as you're going along and you think, oh, have I got this the right way around, just have a quick look at the photo. You'll soon see what piece goes where. So the one that I was just doing, that was the piece one. 
you see I've just sewn that medium coloured strip to the top. So just use these photos, that's why we've put them in, because it does make it simpler for you. One of the, uh, this is the lupin I think we're looking at at the moment, but the, the sense of depth that you are getting from the attic <coughs> quilt is incredible. It really is very, very, it's a special quilt. You hang this up and suddenly it looks like you're looking out onto the most beautiful vista. It's kind well, of I like think you could put it on a window. wall in yeah. your home that you know, maybe a dark wall or somewhere that yeah. you know that hasn't got a nice view. The other thing you could do make a wonderful blind. Blind. You could use it yeah. to make a Roman blind. That w that is an incredible <laughs> idea. I'm thinking of a guest bedroom. Imagine mm. that as a Roman blind coming down. My God, that would be incredible. And then you can obviously you could make it to fit. So you could add more and more borders yeah. or less borders to make it fit. But because of a, obviously yeah. a Roman blind is very straight, then that would be perfect. Or just put yeah. it on a wall, you know, it's a nice piece of art, isn't I it? Absolutely. Brighten up a room that hasn't got a window or yeah. only a small window, maybe. And a lot of people are agreeing with you, Rebecca. Now, halfway through the show, would you mind if I did a quick yeah, recap? Yeah, go for it, okay? go for it. Brilliant, uh, I will do that. Just got to tell you, we have got some other items that you can find on our website. Uh, so, so, as scissors go, Mill Shop Online are incredible value for money as well uh, 24.99 for a pair of scissors of that quality it really is a special price and they are exceptional they're very very good scissors uh, everyone here at Hochanda loves them 10 inches uh, but there is a freedom price on there so 21.24 if you're a freedom member 279.324 your item number we also have an iron for you as well having a little look now this iron's very very popular 1999 your price have we still got the freedom I really hope we still got the freedom price on here have we yay okay so 1199 is incredible now uh, <laughs> the team we we were skeptical as to whether we should still have that freedom price but we do so we will honor it 40% of the stock has gone of this iron. now something to point out with the iron it folds uh, flat now just say the dispatch date is not right uh, it was from a previous show so apologies there um, with regard to the iron the the handle it folds flat to there and it really does kick up a lot of heat to the point that I know that Haley Smith did a show she was using it it wasn't on the show but she was just using it to press out some uh, fabric she loved it so much she tried to blag one couldn't so went out and bought one now that says a lot when a guest comes in, uses something, and then goes and buys it. Uh, and that was actually, it was, it was before we put a freedom discount on there. Uh, 417259, your item number there, uh, I think. All right, now we're going to have a quick recap of the cats. Uh, you're getting a clouder of cats. And when we say clouder of cats, look at this. Rebecca talked about the quality of the fabric and just picking it up. It is a very good fabric. And that's obviously an important point. So 100% cotton. Let me just open this up. There we go. So look, you've got a lot of cats to choose from. I know that Amy and Rebecca, and actually that's the point because I know Amy's watching, so I've got to uh, give Amy a mention as well because uh, Amber makes, it's a, it's a duo of Rebecca and Amy uh, with the current situation and just health and safety, only Rebecca could make it in today. But you are getting a lot of imagery on your panel and uh, what the team wanted to do, so Rebecca and Amy, they wanted to give you all that imagery to play around with. You've got your backgrounds, you've got six different projects you can make from that one panel. And I've got to just show you, you just pick which cat you want to use for uh, which project. Just having a little look, because I have to say, now I do love my pussycats, look at this. So as a cat cushion, do you have a fur baby? Is this maybe, do you know what you could do? This could be, rather than a cushion, I'd be tempted to make a, uh, you know, like a cat bed? So like the bedding for a cat bed. How about that? So you've got the background in there as well. So that's, that's a lovely cushion, as is. That's one project. How about the most beautiful bag? Look. So we've got that. Uh, we've got artwork, you've got a little purse. I'm just speeding up because I know we've got uh, lots more to show you. Isn't that sweet? That is, that, that is, I think a little kitten, maybe? 
Yeah. Okay, now we're going to move on. Uh, we've got six different projects uh, that you can make on there. Twenty-nine ninety-nine is your price. You are saving nine pounds fifty, so a uh, fantastic saving in the mix as well. Six uh, four three zero nine zero your item number. Okay, we're going to move on. Look at this. The cottage is lovely. Isn't that nice? So this is where. Amber makes really, uh, I think, differentiate themselves because having the printed fabrics adds that sense of realism. I mean, what you're getting on that roof, it, the, the thatch roof detail is incredible. You've also got all this detail here in the cottage. I mean, it is the quintessential picturesque cottage. But if you want to take it that a step further and add some embroidered detail, you can. A few French knots. You do not have to, by any way, uh, do that. Any stretch of the imagination, I was going to say. So as door stops go, imagine that in your home, in the living room, as a door stop. It is the most beautiful, beautiful door stop. Uh, you've also got the smaller cottage in the mix as well. $24.99, you are getting the panel, you're getting the instructions and everything you need to make those. And obviously, you just uh, once you've constructed it, use the panel, add a few bits. So in the center, some wadding, you're done. Uh, 372679, your item number there. The quilt. This is no ordinary quilt. I'm just going to pop these down so we can see it properly. Uh, this is an attic quilt. 20% of the stock has gone. I'm going to pick it up, actually. Should I pick it up? Because you need to see how big this is. But uh, you add, and I'm just showing you here, you can pick your plain fabrics to add into the mix. Out of interest, Rebecca, when we talk about plain fabrics, how much uh, plain fabric would you need? A metre? Um, well, you need different for each of them. So okay. for... Yeah, you need a metre of the light one, 40 centimetres of the medium one, and 65 of the dark. Okay, so there we go. And it is playing off the what gives the illusion of depth. You do need to have that three-tone blend, so uh, a light, medium, and dark. But then, being able to add the panel behind, the detail behind, is what really takes it to that next level. So it's a photorealism of the aspect that you've got. This is the blossom. 20% uh, of the stock has gone, but then it's learning how to make because you've got full instructions on how to make your attic window. I've got to, I'm conscious of the fact I keep showing you uh, this option. There are two additional options. Should we have a little look at those? Because I think it's important to see them. So uh, this is Venice with the uh, Rialto Bridge. And how can you look? I've been fortunate enough to have visited the Rialto Bridge, and it's a lovely part of uh, Venice. That is just a beautiful scene. The sky, everything. I mean, imagine looking out, having a window looking out onto Venice. That's effectively what you've got in this quilt. Uh, we've also got the loopings as well. So it's like having a beautiful summer meadow, a window looking out onto a beautiful summer meadow. I mean, yeah, that's the kind of place I would dream of being able to walk around. Where would you, where would you imagine that is? Somewhere, I don't know. America, yeah, I think in America. Now, you've got the little pussy cat on the panel. You do not need to add the cat. It's a lovely little quirky touch, but you definitely don't need to. If you don't want to, you can add the cat onto another project as well. So uh, three different options, $29.99. You're getting the complete panel. I'll show you one of the panels just to show you exactly what you are getting on there. Now, you will need to add uh, your, so you've got the, the main panel details the hard part to find. You will now uh, need to add some planes and some backings. Uh, but apart from that, you are getting the button. Look at that. So we've got a lot going on in this panel. All the elements that you need. And Rebecca was showing you just, I like even the small little touches made by the date. Isn't that nice? And that's, that is, that actually shows with Amy and Rebecca because First and foremost, they are extremely passionate crafters. So they've added into the mix what they would want from the panels. But for $29.99, I think that's very good value for money. Uh, pick whichever option you like. What we tend to find, and the blossom is beautiful, but I didn't want to leave out the other options because I, I think the uh, lupin is fantastic. And also uh, Re uh, Venice as well with the Rialto Bridge. Right, now the Fabbies are always popular whenever we bring them to you. And I know why, because the price is exceptional. Really good price here. $9.99, look at the saving. £29.50. So these are options. I need to point this out. 
So you could buy, buy all three options. These are separate options. You could buy all three of those, and they are still cheaper than uh, if you had bought the uh, the one option at thirty nine forty nine. So just uh, you guys think. No, I've got that wrong. At twenty nine fifty, how much is one option? Yeah, it's thirty nine forty nine. So yeah, of course. All right, all right, I got confused. Apologies. So look, what you can see here, uh, you've got your small six, then you've got your medium and your large uh, four in each. So there's uh, this is your large, and there's your medium. Uh, it's one of those things. Um, I think as as crafters. You know the virtue. You've seen them being used. Maybe you've looked and thought, thirty-nine, forty-nine. Not too sure. Nine ninety-nine is definitely one hundred percent worth a punt. I would be tempted, because you know, and you've seen them at the price, the thirty-nine, forty-nine. So we can never lie to you about that. Do you know what I would be doing? If you've got any friends, especially sewers who've got birthdays on the way, imagine getting them one of these. Because you get the presentation, the gift in. You get the fabbies. That is a good price. 972-285, your item number. Okay, now we have got our on-the-go quilt. This is very cute. Uh, and I was saying to Rebecca uh, that I, I remember having something a little bit similar when I was a kid and absolutely loved it. I use all my uh, little toy cars on there as well. So just showing you, you're getting the panels to make. It was a, it was a long time ago. It was, a lot, it was actually longer than 30 years ago. There we go. Let me just show you here. Have a look at this. So this is what you're, this is what you're getting. See, I, used to, I genuinely used to love this, because I get all my little toy cars, and I drive them around the town. And, you, know, you create your own stories. I was about 17, 18 at the time. There you go. So you've got the ability to make those. But not only that, if uh, you're looking for some little cars, You've also got the fabric cars in the mix as well. So we've got our red car, our blue car. So uh, kids learning, there's your yellow car. And then you've got your green car yeah. as well. Now, $39.98 is your price. So you're getting the panel, uh, which you're seeing here. You're actually getting an awful lot of fabric. Let me just show you. The quilt, it's fifth, uh, 50 by 50 inches, 60 inches. I mean, that. I don't think I can hold it up. That's huge. Look at that. So you are getting an aw you are getting an awful lot for your money. This is a quilt that you would make for a younger member of the family. I mean, so many times, I know there are a lot of you out there that are passionate about quilts. Do you have maybe uh, a little one in your family, uh, friends or uh, family members that you would like to make this for? It is a great way to make a quilt and something that is a bit different. That is, I know, Chloe. That is really bad folding, but I've got to move on. Uh, 485622, your item number. I've been folded shamed by our floor manager, Chloe. Uh, right, now, if you do love your fabrics, we've got more. We've got our leopard print fleece in the mix. So having a look here, this is great for no-sew projects. I know we had a picture. Um, it was from Debbie who sent in the um, cushion, the no-sew cushion. And it is such a soft, plush fabric. Uh, so really nice fleecy fabric and you're getting an awful lot for your money. Uh, you, could, you could make a loincloth if you're going to fancy dress. Like Tarzan. Don't look at me like that, Chloe. Tarzan. Uh, £9.96 your price, saving £18. 247-596 your item number. I know what I... Nick, if we have... Because uh, sometimes I chander, we do nights out fancy dress. I'm going as Tarzan. That's it. Done. Uh, other jungle heroes are available. Now, we've got more for you. Have a look here. Lovely color palette. We are talking uh, DY Choice Baby Joy uh, DK Yarn. 12 balls in total, 19.99 your price, uh, saving 22 pounds. Have a look at full details of our seven day savers on our website. We're gonna go uh, to our website as we head back to Rebecca. You can see all the seven day savers, only three days remaining on the seven day savers, so do have a little look uh, and see what you might be tempted to pop into your basket. There we go. Now, I think we might be continuing with our quilt, Rebecca. Is that right? Yes, yes. I was just going to show you the next stage. I want to, just wanted to point out on the panel, which I don't think was easy to see when you showed it. I've cut one of these out. This is the rectangle that you get to make the flying geese around the edge. This is the loop in view, so you can see it's a lovely purpley lavender colours that go with the lupins. 
and there's this is the cat so obviously as you can see that is optional but on the panel as well you get a quilt label because when you've spent the time and the money and the effort and the skill making a quilt it's really important to label it particularly if you're giving it away so there's a label here that you can sew on and then another little care label and there's some handmade labels as well so that's all the sort of the extra pieces that you're getting in the panel that's what happened after i'd cut all the squares out that's rebecca well we try, what we try to do we've got that piece of fabric so let's fill it so we put added value in and i think that makes a difference because on the bottom of the panel there's i think six or eight handmade labels that you can then use for other projects that you can put onto them mm -hmm. and i think that's just a nice thing to have Rebecca, I know we've got to uh, get on to a demo, so mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to interrupt you too much, but very quickly, because we've always got new viewers joining us, I think it's important, Amber Makes being a new company. Just again, can you remind us, because when I heard you talking about your, your background in crafting, it's so impressive. So yourself and Amy, now you're saying you've done a lot of work for magazines in the yeah, past? Yeah, so I started off with my career, I worked for um, sewing magazines. I've worked for craft magazines for my whole career, really. But I used to be the technical editor of them, so my job was to write instructions. I mean, I've sewn forever. But as I lucky, I'm one of the very lucky people that I get to sew for my job. So my hobby and my job is the same. So I've spent years writing instructions, having people writing and saying that doesn't make sense. So I know the best way to explain things, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's my background. And then Amy and I got together because we're friends and Amy's just an illustrator, surface pattern designer, she can really draw, I really can't. Mm -hmm. So It just works, but the only reason I want to point out, and that's, it, it is a very important point, is the, the knowledge that both Rebecca and Amy are bringing to the table, and it shows in all the little small little touches, because it's what they would be looking for. Uh, Rebecca, so I know a lot of viewers would want to see, we were just building up the uh, block, what would you like to show us next? So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make the this is what makes the perspective it's by having the angles and there's very different ways of doing this but I think this is the easiest way and again I'm trying to get people who maybe haven't quilted before haven't tackled a project this size to make it simple so we've cut out all of our strips we've drawn a diagonal line on with pencil and then you just pin this into place and then all you have to do is sew along the line so that makes it really simple as well so if you need to get practice with your sewing you, you need to have this line anyway, but it's really good because you haven't got to think about seam allowances. So, if you're new to sewing, sew nice and slowly. So along the line, remember to reverse stitch at either end so that um, it doesn't come undone. Then all you have to do is take a pair of scissors and cut outside the seam allowance, not inside, but outside. Uh -huh. If you, just to double check, fold it open and go, ah, oh, yes, yeah, so that's the outside. So cut off, you don't need that bit now, that's gone. But there, you get a perfect angle. Now this is easier than trying to sew a triangle to a piece and cut the top off. So there we go, that's your side angle. Lovely. And that is what creates the perspective. So if we go back to piece one, which I sewed the top on before, this then is joined to there. If I show you them open, you can see. And that is what creates the perspective. Ah, uh, and we can just, I'm having a look, let me just, pop that down so you can see this is the points that we're working on and that is what gives the illusion of depth coming through and it is such a clever quilt the pattern the concept now what I love about this and what I would be tempted to do so once you've made your attic window and it is such a beautiful I cannot stress this enough just looking at the camera now imagine this in your home and this is just one of the options but you know what I'd be going on to do because, uh, and Hayley was saying the same, Hayley West, who's coming up next, uh, she loves the concept of the attic window. You've got the instructions, you've learnt the knowledge of how to do it uh, through the instructions given in, in the option. I'd go on and use fabric for my stash and create more quilts because there is something uh, that everyone's drawn to. It's one of those special, special quilts. Uh, what Amber Makes have done, though, they've le elevated it to that next level, though, with the quality of the print and the windows that you are getting. Three different options, uh, all busy, $29.99, considering what you are getting. So that's your Blossom. Uh, we've also got Venice. So if, uh, and you know, at the moment, we're not traveling. So I know we can't travel. So imagine having v Venice, a window looking onto Venice, just outside your home, obviously, the illusion. So there's your Rialto Bridge, beautiful summer's day, uh, and speaking of beautiful, I, I, I really want to go for a walk in the field we're about to show you with the lupins. Have a look at this. 
So there you can see, oh, I mean, that is just such a staggeringly nice scene. Uh, you've got the cat looking out there as well. $29.99 is your price, 914-444, your item number there. If you do have any questions, we've got Rebecca here. Uh, I want to give a, a wave to Amy, who unfortunately couldn't uh, come into the studio today, but maybe in the future. It would be lovely to see them uh, working. Uh, just to remind you of the cottage as well, the cottage is proving popular, just showing you here. Now that, as cottages go, it's so charming. Look at that. So you can make this beautiful cottage. You can embroider uh, or uh, add a little bit of stitch detail if you want. You absolutely do not have to. Uh, but this detail, and this is something that separates Amber Makes, brand new company to Hochanda. Uh, the fact that you get that photorealism with all the prints. $24.99 your price. Let's just have a look at the uh, cottage. This is what you are getting. So the pattern, the panel, the possibilities. $24.99 your price, 372679 your item number. Uh, I actually think, are we going to be taking a look, Rebecca, at the cottage? Yeah, I was just going to show you how, how to start it, really. I wanted to explain about the fact that you cut all the pieces. So I've cut out the pieces first. So on the panel, you have all the pieces to make the cottage and then the mini cottage, which you can use as a pincushion or just an ornament. That's up to you. I'm using mine as a pincushion. The only okay. difference between them is the mini one doesn't have um, a handle because it doesn't need one because it's not a doorstop. So okay. there's the whole panel so you can see you've got all the roofs for the big one for the doorstop and all the roofs for the little one so everything is the same. You've got the base but the only difference is you haven't got the handle. So the first thing you need to do is cut out all your pieces. So I right. cut out all the cottage ones first. Now on the printed panel I'll just show you again. Everything is labelled. And what's really important about this is that obviously some things are quite clear. It's really obvious that that's the front of it and that's the back. But there uh -huh. are pieces like this that's the inner roof. So you need to make sure you remember when you cut them out which is which. And the great thing is, is because the names are printed on there, all you have to do is cut them out and cut the name out and pin it on. Brilliant. And with some pieces, it's obvious which is the top and which is the bottom. But if you're not sure, and with some pieces it isn't obvious, then just if you pin it to the top, you'll know. So that's what you do at the first. So there's the base. It's got like flagstones. There's the side. So cut it all out. Now, I said right at the beginning that I've designed this so that if you want to just sew it together and you don't want to do any other embellishments, you can just do that. But if you decide that you want to embroider it or applique it, do it at this stage before you start joining it together. So for the pincushion front, you can see that there are roses around the door. And this is just printed. Now, you can make it just like this. This is fine. What I did with the one that um, Yanis has got over there on the set is I embroidered on top of those just show you here. I've got it here. I mean, as door stops go, if you look really closely, you can see in your home the, that it's embroidered. Yeah. See, I, if you have got that ability, I think it really does lend to the design. Now, considering with this panel, you're also getting the smaller cottage as well, so that could be your pincushion. You could have that on your desk. I mean, that is stunning. Really, really, I, I can imagine that in any home. And I, I think that's a great gift as well for somebody yeah. uh, going into moving into a new home too. Brilliant new home gift. It's a gift that you could give some of the kit or make it for them. Mm. A lovely present. So yeah. all I do, all you need, a bit of stranded cotton. I used a couple of greens and a couple of reds. Um, French knots, a bit of back stitch, nothing, nothing in particular. And the other thing that we've put on the panel is that you can see on all the cottage pieces that all the windows and doors are printed. But if you want to give your cottage a bit more of a 3D look, a bit um, to just make it come alive, all of these pre pieces are also printed separately. Now, all you have to do is... Um, the easiest way to do is press some bonder web, which is like a fusible web. It's like double-sided sticky tape, only it's interfacing. Mm -hmm. And you can press that on the back of it, and then you cut each of them out, and then you press these or s and then sew them on top. What I did with mine is I then put a little piece of wadding between the applique window and the back, and it just makes it stand up. I've also put some, um, I've got Amy to put some window boxes and little flower pots. And then what I did with those, I then sewed them underneath the window. So again, these are optionals. You don't have to put them on, but if you want to just play with it and do something a little bit different, you do get these applique pieces. 
only for the doorstop. We didn't bother with the um, the, cushion, the pin cushion because they're too small. So once you've cut out all of your pieces, you've then got to start sewing. Now all the instructions, as I said before, are in there, and it's really simple. You have to sew them in a row, the side to the front and the back and the side like this. And so here's one that I did earlier. So now you can see your cottage oh, yes. is just starting to take shape. So you just sew them together. Ah. Into a. Into so this a, is something, and you, you did say this, Rebecca, that even if someone was just starting out sewing, it's a great, whether you're an experienced uh, sewer or just starting out, you can just sew it all together, all the panels are there. Done. Yeah, there's no templates, there's no measuring, and I think that's often the thing is people think, oh, I've got to get templates and I've got to print them out and I don't know how to do that, but everything is on there that you need. Mm -hmm. But the beauty of it is, is we've chosen prints. If you look at the chimney print, they are bricks, and they are real well, bricks, so that the chimney looks like that it's made from bricks. This is the point, and I think this is something that really elevates and separates Amber Makes, so a brand new company to her chanda, you can see the quality of the print, the realism that you're getting. And so the, suddenly that cottage comes to life. It is a beautiful, beautiful cottage. So that can be a doorstop, it can be a display. Uh, I know time is running out, we've only got a minute or so left on the show. Just to remind you of our fantastic attic window quilts. Three different options for you. This is the Blossom. Uh, the other options, you get to see how big the uh, quilt is. It's kind of folded over, so you're missing a bit of the panel here, just for the display, because you couldn't see it from the counter. We have got uh, Venice in the mix as well. But look at the depth, how it looks like. Uh, it really gives the illusion that you are, your eye is traveling through that window uh, and uh, getting to enjoy the most beautiful aspects. So whether it is the Blossom Venice or... Now, I think this could be my, my new favorite, possibly. I, I actually love them all. Uh, the lupin, though, because I love fields. I love going, going for a walk in a beautiful field on a lovely spring summer's day. $29.99 your price. You are saving £9.50. You decide whichever watch you, uh, you want to go for. Got to remind you of the fabbies. The saving on the fabbies is incredible. Uh, you're saving, is it £29? I think you are saving £29.50. Uh, now, just for one tin, of the fabbies, just one tin, you'd be looking at $39.49. You can get all three, these are options, so six of the small, you've got four of the medium or four of the large, you can get all three for less than you would pay for one. So, I mean, way, way better than half price saving there. If you do want to uh, get hold of those, they are flying. So that's definitely worth a consideration as well. Get them for presents uh, for people. Uh, Rebecca will be back at 10 and we cannot wave. Uh, first live hour with your own company. Did you enjoy it, Rebecca? Yeah, no, it was really good. Whoa, well, flew by though, flew by. Excellent. Really quick. Uh, well, Rebecca, give everyone a wave and we will yeah. see you. There we go. See you again at 10 o'clock and I'll show you some more demonstrations of how to make the kits. We cannot wait. <laughs> looking forward to that. Thank you so much for your company. You've got another fantastic hour just around the corner where we're going to be looking at our one day special. So I'm going to be handing over to my partner in crime, the lovely Hayley, and we are getting groovy with Clarity, one day special. After that, it is Viva Decor, and then Amber Makes will return with loads more goodies. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. 
Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Tracy from Paratex UK. Paratex is um, a non-toxic, water-based fabric hardener. Whether you're making a sculpture, creating a fantastic canvas, we've got products that can help you to do that. We can all use it. You can craft with your children. It doesn't matter what age you are or what ability. When we bring the product to Hachanda, you will see the possibilities are absolutely endless. As a family run business, we love being part of the Hachanda family. So watch the Powertech shows on Hachanda for some fantastic creative fun. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family well hello there good morning and welcome well i say welcome you've already been here for an hour haven't you i've just rocked up and come to do the one day special but what a fabulous show to rock up for it's a groovy one day special we've got an amazing deal for you as the guys always bring us and of course this was launched at six o'clock last night it's an amazing deal lots of you've been taking advantage of it and of course fabulous barbara and paul have been involved and We've actually got Paul on the phone already, bright and early. Good morning, Paul. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm very well, Hayley. Yourself? I'm very well. I'm very well, I have to say. And I must admit, I'm loving the One Day Special. Now, we brought you in bright, nice and early to the show because I think there's nobody better to explain the One Day Special than yourself and taking us through all the different things that we've got. So talk us around what we've got on our screen now. Okay, so for the One Day Special, we've got um, two different options. You've got set one and set two. And in each of these sets, you've got six beautiful A5 groovy plates, um, all illustrated um, by Barbara and by the lovely Mel Turner. Um, and in each of these, you've got the beautiful frames, plus you've got the amazing verses, poems, Irish prayers, 
sayings really, really, really useful, especially at the current sort of time. Um, and what we've done is, with the, as you know, with the groovy system, is that you can pick and choose. So for me, although you've got the six plates, it's 12, really, because you've got the sentiments which stand alone. That's and then, a good point. Mm. And then also the frames. And the frames can be used for so many different things as well. So we've got option set one and set two, um, and it's got a fantastic £16 saving on each of those. But I know what has been really popular has been the big bundle where you're going to get all 12 plates with each of those £16 savings carried over, and then you're going to get a bonus um, folder as well to keep them all in. This is a brilliant deal. Because although on the screen it says £7, that's in addition to the two savings that you're getting with your one-day specials. Because right, they're yeah. carried forward, aren't they? That's right. So, And that's what we like to do. We like to give people at home the, the options, depending on budget. Um, so if you can only afford... I mean, the one-day special is great because it's on Flexi. Um, but again, you may think, oh, I just want that six, or I just want that six. But we always like to give that option. Well, this is it. Now, you can see on your screen there as well, we've got a Freedom Members discount. So, again, on top of the one-day special savings, you're saving an additional £16.99. And I can't believe that you, you've done this for us. Three flexi buys on this one. So, we're paying less than £30 to get today to get all 12 of those fabulous plates. Um, a brilliant value for money, I have to say. And very usable. They are. They really are. I mean, for me, these the, the frames on their own um, and the versatility of them I mean, when we're looking at the samples from the design team, you can see how they've embraced them. Um, and Scott, last night, he, he sort of summed it up quite well. He said, the elegance of these work beautifully on parchment. Yes. They really do. Yeah. And the thing that I love about them as well, you've got kind of like romantic themes, as you can see here, with lots of kind of floor, um, the butterflies and the swirls. But then you've got other things that have got um, kind of like a, a wonderful um, contemporary look to these as well. That's right. And also, if you look at it another way, I was thinking about it this morning, you've got 12 plates. So you could use one for each month, couldn't you? That's you could a say, good like, point. say, this month I want to concentrate on this plate, then the next month go on a different plate. So, so it gives you something to sort of like go towards, doesn't it? Think, oh, I'm going to use this one this month. Now, of course, we've got a team at work um, kind of in the production of this one because Barbara and Mel have got involved. Mel does a lot of the artwork, is that right? She does, yeah. She's one of our fantastic illustrators and we would have heard her name loads of times on Ho Chanda. Um, so it was a real combination um, of the styles between both Barbara and Mel. Absolutely amazing. They are beautiful. Now, um, we've been busy for the one-day special. We're getting busy again um, this morning with regards to the 60% of the stock's gone, Paul. That's not really very surprising, though, is it? No, exactly. And, and, and again, it, it, for me, these, the pure versatility of them as well, um, it's it just, yeah. It, when we were putting it together, we thought, right, we'll do them individually, and then we'll do the, the big bundle as well. I and love this. And also on the show, Hayley, um, brand new. We've also got these in stamps as well. We have. Um, and you've got four different options with, under the same product code. And option number three and four are brand spanking new. They were only launched last night. Oh, right. Um, and um, so, again, you've got the four different options, which each has a £5 saving on each of those. Um, but, again, we've done the bundle for you. So you carry that saving over and then we're giving you the storage folder as well. That's right. So that you can keep it all together. Where am I? I've got it far left, far left, far left, far left. My left, oh there it is. <laughs> <laughs> left a bit, right a bit. <laughs> um, what we also did, I also sent in, because I know it can, sometimes it can be a bit difficult to see on screen. Um, I've given you the printouts of all of the stamped images um, so that when it's held up to camera, it's a lot more clearer to actually see the different designs on them. Um, and again, you've got beautiful, exactly the same designs, but in stamp form. Absolutely well, this is beautiful. it. This is it. As you can see here, you've got happiness is um, a butterfly, which, can, when pursued, is always beyond our grasp. But which, if you let, if you sit them quiet, sit down quietly, try again, Hayley, <laughs> may alight upon you. And these are the exact same size as the stamps. Yeah, so the... the, the the stamps are different. Yeah, the printouts that you've got there are the same size. Um, so there are A6 stamps. So, again, each of the th four different sets have got a £5 saving on them. And then we've combined that. And, again, that's what's proving most popular is that big collection. Oops. 
Well, this is it because they lend themselves so well to cards. And I mean, we can see them on the front of cards, but of course, whether they're on the front of the cards, whether they're on the inside of the cards, um, they're beautiful either way. I mean, here, this one with the music theme there, it's one of those things that quite often will pe people will say, have you got anything on a music theme? Well, there you go. That is beautiful. And for me, these frames are just so generic and can be used, for, say, throughout the year. Um, they're, sort of, they're not necessarily seasonal, but you could turn it into the different seasons, depending on how you stamp it, what you colour with. Absolutely gorgeous. And then they kind of turn things like uh, your, your inky backgrounds into something that just literally by adding that additional element there, instantly you've got a card front. Again, a huge saving with these ones. Like eight pounds savings on your screen. It's an additional two individual savings on each one of the bundles because of course with this, you are going to get all 36 of those stamp plates. And again, you've got three flexi buys on this one as well. So you've got um, a 28 pound saving overall if you are going for the complete bundle. But of course, as Paul said there, you have got them in there individual little sets if you do want to go down that route as well. That's right. They're and all beautiful. They're, and when they're combined with the designer papers and the parchment, mm. it just really does bring them to life. There's no skill required, really. You can just stamp it out. Um, and the job's done. Well, that's it. I've just popped down one that um, I picked up, actually. Um, and, and you can take inspiration from the backgrounds. Obviously, you've got mats and layers here, so the, the papers are on the backdrop. But I had one here. I'm sure you, you saw it on the screen a few moments ago there, where it was literally stamped directly onto um, one of the papers. Here we go. I've got it now. There you go. Stamped on there. And just a, a little bit of additional element added. Yeah. Um, and again, with the stamps, you can obviously heat emboss them. Um, you can do so much more with the stamp design. And the detail, the crispness, because we manufacture the stamps ourselves, I mean, Jason, um, our stamp man, um, that some of the stamps, they're so fine, but they're crisp, absolutely amazing. I love that, Jason the stamp man. Jason the stamp man, <laughs> He yeah. can put that on his business cards. I'm just <laughs> the stamp man. Um, Paul, thank you so much. Now, I know we've got some fabulous videos coming up, and we've got lots of them to get through. So excuse me for saying goodbye to you so early on in the show. Thank you for joining me, though, and taking oh, us through everything. Nobody um, can put it better than our fabulous Paul. Um, and um, I'm again, um, it's not actually myself coming back at 12 o'clock. Oh, yes, it is. It is myself, 12 o'clock. I'm on a different shift. So are you around at 12? Can we have another I chat, then? I shall be speaking to you at 12. Clock. Fabulous. I'll catch up with you a little bit later on then. Enjoy the rest of your morning. And you. Take care, everyone. Thank and, you. And you. Take care as well. And as I said there, we've got loads and loads of videos um, kind of detailing how you can use the one day special and, of course, the stamps as well. But we are going to be looking at the one day special in the first video. So I think they say roll VT. Hi. For this card, we're going to combine a number of different plates and we're going to do a little bit of pico cutting to add a little bit of dimension. This is a card done by Josie Davidson, so I'm going to recreate my version. But if you look, you'll see that the butterflies have got depth to them. They've been pico cut and stuck on. Okay, so where do we start? Well, first off, I'm going to create a frame. So what I've done is I've used the pico squares. Oops, he says. Pico squares to create my frame. Now, I could cut this out if I want to with the Pico dies, or I could leave it like this and then use it to wrap around to attach to my card. Um, so we've got options, but when I was prepping this one, I didn't have my dies with me at home. So we're just gonna go straight with this one. So I've got my frame to work within. Next, I'm gonna take my calligraphy plate mate, because that's gonna hold my poetry plate. And then we're going to work out which plates we're going to go with. So again, I've got mine in the folder. So we want this one here, which is from set one, to see a world in a grain of sand. And then we need to find the butterfly. So when you get the plates and you've traced them all out, you're, it's amazing the different things you'll find. I mean, you've got some beautiful hearts on this one. I love this one, the music one. Again, could be used for male or female cards. And here's the lovely little butterfly here. So I'm gonna take that plate out as well. And we'll pop that to one side. So to start off with, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our flowers in place. Now, if you have a look at, let's just lift that up and pop that in there. What I'll do is we'll, we'll take that in there. So if you look at the, the card, you'll notice that what Josie's done is she's used these two flowers here 
and she's also used the single daisy. Again, another great benefit of the groovy plates is that you become the designer and you can mix and match the various different elements. So to start off with, I've got my frame and what we're going to do is we're going to pop this one in this corner here, for example. So I reckon we're going to go just about there. So your parchment doesn't always have to be straight. Um, turn it so that the design works for you. So then we're going to tape that down and hold that in place to stop it moving around. We're going to take our tumble dry sheet and we're going to wipe over. And what that does, that allows the tool to glide more easily. I'm going to use my number one tool from the starter kit. I've got my groovy guard to lean on. And then all we're going to do, I'm going to start from the bottom because it's easier for me to see that I don't get carried away and go into those, into the frame. So we'll pop those bits in first and just trace out the design. So you can see how quick and easy it is. I mean, if you just want to use these two flowers, you can. Um, the choice is yours. So we'll just follow the lines through it's a real sort of nice daisy this one I think it's a daisy yeah it is a daisy isn't it so we're just going to trace that out and again it doesn't matter if you jump out of the line you go at whatever speed you want to go at but you can see how quick and it's great because you can see exactly where you've been where you need to go and just follow the design. I've noticed that as I'm doing this my voice is slowing down and then it becomes slower and slower. It For me it really is um, a process that you don't really need to think about. Um, it's quite mindful in that respect for me personally. So there we see we've got the beautiful daisies in place there. So then we're going to lift that up and then we're going to put the other daisy in just above that. So I reckon we can go probably, let's pop it there. So again, we'll just tape that down to stop it moving around and trace out the lines. Remembering not to go through what you've already traced out. You've got a real nice, I mean, even just this one on its own, if you're doing like little notelets or something like that, the, the groovy system now makes it so much more achievable if you want to batch card make. So if you're making invitations, weddings, birthdays, anniversary parties, you, it is really easy to replicate quite quickly now using the groovy plates. And again, if you're not into your colouring in um, and you want instant colour, then you can use the design parchment as well. So you can see now we've popped that daisy in place, but that daisy is just floating in the air. So we need to add in the rest of the stalk. So all I'm gonna do is have a look. Here's the daisy underneath here. So I'm just gonna position that there and then put that stalk in so it doesn't look then as if it's just floating in the air. I'm going to put a little bit of foliage in the bottom so I'm going to pop down here and add a little bit more detail but you can see how quick it is to achieve. So we're going to pop that in there, add some little leaves in. Now on these little flowers here I want to do these completely white so what I'm going to do is turn over the tool over to the number two and just lightly trace out. Now these ones are great because these will go white very very quickly because they're quite small. So we'll just trace out the design there. I think 
I mean, this is great for an infill as well if you wanted to put this in the frame. You can just choose the various different elements of it. And then maybe we need a little bit of foliage just down here, do you reckon? Just to infill there. So look at what's on the plate. So we've got some more, we've got those leaves there. So we could pop a leaf. I reckon that will do. Yeah, we'll stop there. So that now gives us our main design. Um, if I wanted to, I could have something coming out of there, but sometimes less is enough, okay? So we've got our design in place now. So what I wanna do is just do a little bit of white work because what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back to this in the second part and we're gonna concentrate on color. We're gonna do something called stippling, which I've never really done before, but what Josie's done, if I bring this card up, um, there we go, I don't know if we'll be able to see that, but in this area here, see how you've got those little tiny little white dots on the, the middle of the flower? That's called stippling. Um, and I'm gonna show you in the second part of this demo how to do that. But I'm all, and I'm also going to show you how you can get some real nice vibrant colour on the butterflies as well. Okay, so let's do a little bit of white work. So into play comes my best friend. So this is the Pergamano Embossing Mat Excellent. Great if you're heavy handed. Great even if you're not heavy handed. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom in a bit. So if I remember rightly, I need to go this way. There we go. So we're going to bring that in so we can really get in tight to this little area. Ooh, out of focus. There we go. So I'm going to concentrate on these little areas here and maybe put a little bit of white work on some of these petals just to show you a couple of tricks. So I'm going to use the ball tools that come with the starter kit. Um, so number one, we've been using, let's turn it that way. Number one, we've been using to trace out. Then when we did the little seed heads, we did the number two, which has a larger ball on the end. Then in the starter kit, you've also got the number three, which has a bigger ball on the end. And then moving along to the number four, which has an even bigger one. So if you've got the Pergamano tools, you've got a 0.5, you've got a 1, a 1.5, a 3, a 4.5 and a 6. So you can use any of those. So I'm going to go with the 3 on this. And I'm going to bring my groovy guard in because that helps me control and gives me something to lean on as well. And then because these are so small, all I'm going to do is just press in and wiggle. Now, I'm not pressing in too hard, but I'm pressing in a lot firmer on the pink mat than if I was using the black mat from the starter kit. And you'll see that all I'm doing is just pressing in and just wiggling. Because they're such small areas, I don't need to, because these are circles, I don't need to do the normal trick of going up and down, left and right, and then in the middle. So all I'm gonna do now is just press in and wiggle. So, and, and this, fingers crossed, he says, will give us a really nice finish when we turn it over. So, we turn it over there. We can see now how they're starting to. So, there's a little bit of grey area in some of these, but that's fine because, again, white work is one of the processes that takes time. Um, so what I'm going to do now is turn it back over, there we go, in the middle of the screen, use my guard again to lean on, and then I'm going to go back in again and give a little wiggle, a little bit of pressure. And what we'll do, we'll concentrate on this section here so that we can see the difference between the ones up here and the ones down here. Now, I'm going to go now to the number two tool and I can, this is where I really need to be careful because I'm not letting the parchment rest in between. This is where it becomes 
what I call it stressed the most. So it's quite weak because I haven't given it a chance to bounce back. So I do need to be careful that I don't put too much pressure on that I actually go through the parchment. So now when I turn it over, let's get up here. So if I bring that up, ooh, where are we going? If I bring that up, I don't know if we can see in this area here, it's a lot whiter than the section area above. Okay, so now I want to put a little bit of um, white work on just the edge of some of these petals. So again, I'm going to use the number four tool, just make sure I'm in the right area. And again, it gives me my focus. Some people prefer to flick away, some people prefer to flick towards them. So for this, I'm just gonna flick away very, very lightly. And the way I describe it, it's as if it's like an aeroplane taking off. So you imagine the aeroplane's going along the runway and it's going along and then all of a sudden it lifts off and takes off. Um, so very, very light flicks. And I'm putting the tip of the ball tool on the white line. Okay, and it's just gentle flicks. Some people describe it as sort of like striking a match as well. So you'll find the technique that works for you. And all I'm doing is just gently, gently, I just want a little bit of whiteness just on the tip of the leaves. Now I'm gonna turn it so it's more comfortable for me. Hopefully we can still see that, yeah. So we're just gonna flick, flick, flick. Long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, short stroke. Here's another technique. And we're just gonna just add a little bit of whiteness. And what will happen is that when color gets applied to this, the white will prevail. And when we turn it over, you'll get that beautiful whiteness at the edge of each of the petals. So now when we turn that over, we we'll turn that over, let's have a look. You can start to see now how we've got some sort of depth and texture to the petals. So in the, we'll stop this demo at this one here and when we come back, we'll apply some color and do the butterflies. And I can't wait to see that um, obviously evolve during the course of the hour. Don't forget all the things that um, Paul was working with, things like the starter system, um, things like your groovy accessories, and of course that calligraphy plate that will house you one day special. They are all available on the website, so do check them out. And the beauty is, any of those additional goodies that you want, if you're going for the complete collection, you've got your three flexi buys. So it makes sense to add those all into your basket at the same time because they are just so usable. They will make so much eat. It's, it's kind of smooth transition when you actually working with all these accessories to help you but of course the one day special is the key thing that's what we saw Paul working with half the stock of set one has gone and of course we've got two one day specials for you set one and set number two so set number one is the one that you've got your heart set on you need to be aware of that update because it is literally flying out the most popular way though has been to get hold of the complete bundle which I'll tell you about in just a few moments but of course if you want to go for set one then you can do the details are on your screen got fabulous saving you're saving 16 pounds on this one and you You've got your two flexi buys, so very affordable way for you to get hold of these. £24.97. Lovely. Now, the next set, again, it's a similar sort of setup where you have got the same setup, um, same two flexi buys. Again, you're still looking at £24.95 for your flexi buy. But check out the complete bundle because don't forget, we said you got £16 saving on set one, £16 saving on set two. So, on my reckoning, what's that? About £32.39. Oh, it's a £39 saving in total. I do apologise. I was going to say two, two 16s aren't 39 but I can see Kim is ahead of me. She's thrown in that additional £7 saving that you are getting if you're not a Freedom member because you are getting even more of a saving if you are. Now, the complete bundle will bring you all six of these fabulous plates. And I love the thing that um, Paul touched on earlier on. It's almost like you're getting 24 plates in effect because when you look at the content, you've got all those wonderful verses, which, let's face it, they could be in plates just of their own. But what the 
the Clarity team have done is they've added in all those additional elements, those frameworks, and many of these will kind of cross over, interchange. So if you're looking at the gorgeous butterflies, but you want a different verse in there, then you can take the kiss of the sun um, element there and pop that in there. Some of them, obviously, you've got to look at sizing, but of course, the, the beauty of having the groovy system is you can actually rearrange these when you get them home. Although they are set down on the plates, it's up to you which element you use and where you place it within your finished piece. And of course, the beauty is if you're going for the complete collection, then storage is not an issue because this is what you'll be able to do when you get yours home. You will get the addition of the, um, the fold up. You're not getting that with the one day specials, but, but first a thank you for going for the complete bundle you do. And then of course in there, you've got plenty of room here for you to add each one of those plates going in there. Of course, you can pop some parchment behind it. If you've got projects that you've um, partly worked on, then of course you can keep them in here. It keeps them nice and flat, neat and tidy. And of course, away from the kind of the, the, the dust and the oil all on your fingers and things like that. So that's a lovely way for you to store them. But of course, it's what you're doing with them is the key thing. Let me just bring in a couple of finished samples just to show you. If you're a traditional parcher and you love that kind of style, then yes, you can work with these as well. Or it gives you the opportunity for you to work with all the different elements that you've got within the plates. You can really go to town with these, picking out elements that you want, making your small cards, your large cards, bringing in some very contemporary styles here, as you can see here, using different elements throughout. And um, of course, as Paul has been showing us with that fabulous demonstration, they are very adaptable. Now, of course, it's all part one. I took a little bit of a break, a little bit of a breather. Are we ready for part two? I think so. Here we go. Hi, welcome back. So in the first part of the demo, I showed you how we created the actual layout of this particular card done by Josie. Um, we did a little bit of white work, um, we did a little bit of um, tracing out. So now what I wanted to do, first of all, is the stippling technique. And the stippling technique has been done in this. And then once we've done that, I'm going to show you um, some colouring in on the butterflies on how you can really build up and intensify the colour. So what I've done, I've taken um, the one we was working on earlier and I've just put some colour into the main part of the, the flower and onto some of the leaves. And if I hold this up, you'll see where we've done the white work just here at the tips. And I've just used sort of like a, a purpley um, colour underneath just to put some colour into those leaves. And then I've combined the yellow and the red to do the centre but I'm going to use those same colours when we do the butterflies. Now for the stippling, it's a technique that's really quite, I think it's quite therapeutic. <laughs> um, you need a piece of card underneath, um, like the inside of a cereal packet is perfect for this. Um, I don't eat cereal, um, so I've just got a piece of brown craft card um, just underneath. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom in, see if I can get Zoom in so we can really sort of look at detail in this area here. So I reckon coming a little bit more before it goes out of focus. So just bring that in. Okay. So I'm working on the front of the card. Let's just bring that down a little bit. Working on the front of the card. And I'm using my one needle fine, he says as he picks up the board. And I'm using the one needle fine tool Okay, and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my groovy guard to hold everything in place. And all I'm doing is repeatedly just tapping on the front of the parchment. And what you're doing is if you start at the top and you're going really, really close, it gives a real nice effect of sort of like shading. And then as you come away, you sort of break those spaces up and it adds a little bit of sort of depth to it. So all I'm doing is I'm just keeping the tool upright and I'm just literally, all it's doing is slightly perforating the parchment to bring out the whiteness. So if I go back up up here, up, 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 up and away. If I go up here and concentrate in this area, you'll see, hopefully, and it gets whiter and whiter the more I stipple. And it just gives a really sort of nice random finish. 
And again, I think it's quite therapeutic. Just stippling away at the parchment. So it's just another way of adding a little bit of detail. So now, if I bring that up, let's see if I can get this right. If I bring that up without going out of focus, hopefully you can see where we've been doing the stippling more towards the top and we've come further away and it just adds a little bit of shading. So it's just another little finishing trick that you can do and you could spend a little bit longer than what I have just doing that. But I wanted to show you um, the butterflies. So I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit now. There we go, we'll come out slowly on that one. There we go. And we're gonna bring in some butterflies. Now the butterflies came from um, one of the other plates that we've got as part of the So it's this butterfly here. Uh, and all I've done is just traced out the outline of the butterfly. I've ignored everything that's on the inside because I just want the shape. Then what I've done, let's pop it on there, you might be able to see that a lot better. There we go. So I've traced out a couple of them, as we can see there, and I've already done this one here. And it starts off with a base coat of the yellow. And what I do is I take my yellow pencil and I'm just going to scribble on very, very lightly. Okay. Now, because I'm going to cut this out, I really don't need to worry about staying inside the lines. So I'm going to take a blending nib and I've got some Dorso oil already on my spot on sponge. I'm going to pick that up and all I'm going to do first off is just break down. I'm going to do this on one side so that you can see the difference. Okay. So I'm just breaking down the pigment. And because I've got these really fine nibs, I can really get up close to the edge. But as I say, I'm not worried if I go over the edge. So we can see the difference. If I hold this up, hopefully you'll see the difference between where I have put the dorso oil and where I haven't, I've just left it. For me, that's how I always used to color in and I'd go on really heavy, thinking the heavier I went, the more intense the color would be but it's not the case. It's all about building it up in layers. Next, what I'm gonna do is just take some red. Now, red is the stronger pigment out of the two, so I really don't need to have a lot. So I'm gonna pick up some more oil, and I'm just gonna gently break that down and just blend it in. I love the effect that you get just using the yellow and the red together to get that beautiful sort of light orange colour. So I'm just bringing that in now to the yellow area, okay, and then that's dry because it's an oil and it's evaporated, so I can go back on again with some more red, and then I can just bring that out and you'll see, as the oil starts to evaporate, it doesn't spread as far. So I, butterfly, doing this with butterflies and flowers, I just love doing this. And you could spend 10, 15 minutes just coloring in and just building up the intensity of that color. And you'll notice that what I'm doing is I'm leaving it lighter towards the end. Now if I get carried away and I've put too much color on, I, again, the benefits of the pencils for me is that I can take an eraser and get rid of it. So we're just gonna intensify that color a little bit more. Now it's not moving as much now. So what I need to do is just pick up a little bit of the oil and then it will just smooth it out even more. And slowly break it down. Now if I want to put some more yellow in that area, again, I can do that. I can put the yellow at the edges. There, I'll take a clean nib 
because now I want to come inwards to break that up just to otherwise it's just going to go completely orange see? and you can see now how the colour is starting to, to build up and intensify so if I turn this over and bring it up to the camera you can see this is where we've applied the oil and it's really starting to sort of for me take shape and I just love I'm no expert colourer but for me just doing this and to see the magic of the oil really does make a difference so the next thing to do would be some pico cutting so you've got options what I love about this particular butterfly is that if you're not at your pico cutting stage then it's quite simple to use a pair of scissors just to cut out normally without all the fancy bits and pieces but just to show you how easy it is with the with the pico cutting what I'm going to do I'm going to take my two needle bolt I'm going to take my groovy guard and we're just going to perforate around the outside so you go in one hole that you've just come out of and you go round the outside. Now I should be a little bit closer to the white line but I'm just conscious of trying not to get my head in over the top and you'll notice that I'm turning the tool as I go and then in a minute I'm going to turn my work so it's easier for me to see where I'm going. Okay. So again, you just go all the way around. And again, you could just spend a, an afternoon or an evening just tracing out butterflies, colouring them in one night, and then perforating them. And then the following day, you could sit out in the garden maybe and do your pico cutting. But as I said, this is really a nice one because it's a simple shape. And if you want to, you could um, you could just cut out of an old pair of scissors. So rather than do the whole thing, because I know we're going to run out of time, I'm just going to pico cut one side of it. So this is the waist area potentially. So I'm going to turn that round so it's more comfortable for me. I'm using the ring lock scissors, and then I'm just going to go in, and then as I squeeze, I see the it come to a point and then I twist and snip and you sort of get into the rhythm and you'll see that I'm actually turning my parchment because my hand is comfortable where it's positioned. Some people prefer to hold them in their hands while they're pico cutting but for me personally I find it's easier um, if I'm doing a lot of pico cutting to do it on the flat. So I've got the pico foam underneath and you're just going to gently go in and just um, as a freestanding butterfly so to speak. If I just perforate to the points where I've perforated then this could be sort of like a, a sticky out butterfly. So and I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So it's all about the design and having flexibility of the different techniques. Oops. Hopefully I'm still in view. So I've pico cut around there so now what I can do on oh, this one. Where is it? Just there. So what I could do, I could have that so that it stands up so that it stays attached to the card. So that's just giving you a couple of options on how, let's zoom out a little bit, on how Josie has created that card with the various different elements to them. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon. 
sooner than you think. Um, and I have to say, Josie, thank you for that inspirational card. Beautiful. And Paul, you took it through that demonstration just to perfection. So thank you. And I know everybody will have enjoyed, enjoyed it. But of course, in order for you to create something as gorgeous as that, you're going to need your one-day specials. Now, I say specials because we've got set one, we've got set two. But of course, the way that the majority of you have been getting hold of them is with that biggest saving going for the complete bundle. And that's the key thing. You will get both of the one-day specials with their associated £16 saving and you'll get an additional saving. And if you're a Freedom member, that is £16.99. What you will also get within your particular set is the, um, the binder. And the binder will allow you to keep all of those plates in there, all 12 of them, keeping them safe and secure. And as Paul says, you could challenge yourself to a plate a month, couldn't you? See how many of those different elements you can use within the month. And of course, you can cross those over as well if you're wanting to. Um, rapidly approaching 70% of the, um, the stock that we've got of that complete bundle has gone and Kim sorry what was the complete bundle um, discount if you're a freedom member overall 48 pounds and 99 pence my goodness that is phenomenal so yes if you want your complete collection the details are on your screen and if you're a freedom member your three flexi buy payments make it a very affordable way for you to get hold of them so it's a brilliant um, a brilliant way to get hold of these so your freedom flexi there you go 29 pounds and 96 pence definitely worth thinking about if you're not a freedom member already I think that will be the reason to become one. Now, of course, if you're not into your groovy system, but you're into the stamps and you're liking the designs, well, do not fret because we have got a similar sort of setup with regards to the stamps. Now, with these, they come in little trios. So you can see you've got four sets of three. Of course, that's making 12 of those um, fabulous um, plates that we saw a few moments ago. And we have got a complete bundle for you to get hold of them. Now, £24.99 is your price for your trios. Um, but, of course, if you're going for the complete, that's where you've got the biggest saving and with these you've got some um, set three and four which are your brand new ones we've not seen these in a stamp formation before and again you've got three flexi buys on these 33 pounds and 32 pence now of course we haven't seen these in action during this hour well we're going to change that because we've got a fabulous demonstration coming up from the lady herself the lovely barbara check this out cool good morning let's have a look then at the um at the other poetry plates, the original ones, and I want to get my gel press out and do a background and do a bit of doodling and just generally, um, yeah, what can you do in 10 minutes? We'll give it a go. So this is what I want to show you, and uh, I'll show you how to do the background, how to use a seemingly empty frame look, and then we're going to do a doodle. And this time we're using that beautiful Irish blessing, but we're putting it to the side. So let's have a go and see where we, how we get on. I'm using my um, golden turmeric, the artistry ink pads. We always look at the top left hand one and that will tell you if it's, it says lime kiss up there, then this will be the lime kiss set. So I'm going with the um, three colours from the uh, golden turmeric set and all I'm going to do is take my well-loved gel press my six by six which is mounted on a mega mount and I shall take my my ocean reef put a bit of ocean reef there I'll add a bit of um, what's this one blushing rose excuse the yellow I know you can't see a thing here can you my um, my jelly plate's gone very uh, yellow but you know it's all right it still does the job so I've got a bit of green going on there bit of blue in there again. Let's see what we end up with, shall we? Just a little bit of randomness. It'll be fine. Okay. And then we're just going to make a random background. So we'll just take our speedball brayer now. And we'll just gently go backwards and forwards. Let's see what we end up with. There'll probably be a lot of green on this one. Yeah, I can tell. But that's the colour that I'm, gonna, I'm looking for. See what I've spread on the gel press. That'd be nice. If I can get that, I'll be happy. Okay, so that's my colour. And now, you know, I make my scraps that I'm always using. So I shall lift this off. I need a bit of stencil card, new stencil card to do this job. And then this is why we introduced the idea of putting the gel press on a mega mount. Because when I turn it over, you see, it becomes a stamp. Otherwise, it's not much use to man nor beast, to be fair. When you put it on a hard surface, then you can really do you can do your thing. Now let's have a look. You've got the theory then. You know how it works. If this doesn't come out, I've got loads that I did earlier. So you burnish the back and then when you lift it off, yeah, hey, check it out. So you've got a smashing background. Got a bit of green where the yellow and a bit blue for my taste. But 
you get the picture. That's how you get your backgrounds. Right, so once you've done that, let's put the gel press out of the way. So we've got loads of different ones. Look, there's one a bit pinker, a bit lighter. I'm going to go with that one. Okay, let's go with that one. And, uh, and now what I'm going to do is take my... What I would do under normal circumstances is rather than go straight to the canvas, I would lay out, I would do my composition, I would create a template on a piece of white card. So I know what I'm doing before I go to my canvas. But for the sake of argument, we're just going to go straight to task. So, because I've already done it, haven't I? I know what I'm going to do. I've already done my template bit. So let me just put this stamp on a piece of white copy paper and you'll see what we get. So I'm just going to ink up. This is ink. Um, not paint, but I'm still going to use a black archival ink because it gives me a nice sharp image. Then I'm going to turn that over, get a bit of a wriggle on because it's a, um, a fast drying ink pad, isn't it? So we want to make sure that it works. Right, so we'll just press, 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 and we'll get our beautiful frame drawn by Mel. And then when we've got our frame, perfect, check it out. When we've got our frame, then we can start to add the rest. But before we do that, let's get the rest of the stamping in place, and then I'll show you the rest. In fact, the doodling, all the doodle stuff, that's, if you've been joining me on Facebook Live every morning, Monday to Friday at 10 a.m., then you'll recognize these doodles straight away. Right, here we go. Gently down, hover with the handle, press on the flat of the stamp, Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Perfect. So we've done our stamping and now it's time to doodle. Let's have a little doodle. So what I'm going to use to doodle are these pens. These are seven micron pens. These are perfect for doodling. And, uh, and I'm going to go with this. There are a lot of seven different sizes. I'm going to go with the two finest ones. Right, let's have a look. And again, so I've got the 05 and the 1. And what you'll see is if you look at my template, you'll see exactly all the different things that, that um, well, the, my fellow doodlers will be familiar with a lot of these, these different images, the ribbon road, the right, the flowers. But let's say, for example, to begin with, in fact, if you're a little bit apprehensive about just doing that um, without any ruler or anything you could always put the wire like that use a ruler there you go so there's your first thing there's a root there's a, a, a wire and then the birds let's have let's go to camera three shall we this is like a trip down memory lane for all our fellow doodlers here so we're going to make two little hearts on the wire let's just do a pair his and hers give them a tail give them a little head See, if you're interested in learning how to do this stuff, this is what we've been doing in the Shack Shack, isn't it? Right, so there's my two little friends. And then, of course, we've got the ribbon road and the hills. So they're quite straightforward. I'm going to go, I'm just going straight in with my 01. But you can see all you're going to do now is just cut from here. You cut across and you go down with the doodle. So you fill your frame. It's like a picture frame, isn't it? Then you can bring this one in here. So there's the next road. Then you can come up here and this will come down here. So it's like the rolling hills. I mean, we were in New Mexico, <laughs> but this could be the rolling hills. This could be the Ashdown Forest. There you go. Could be anywhere you want it to be. Look, see. So all we're doing, if you look from above, we're just creating a kind of a plat. Look, Go that way, go that way, go that way, go that way. And then when you bring in your, your ribbon road, see, because it's a long way away, go down in the dip, then it comes up, it's gone up the other side, then it comes, out, and now it's a little bit further, a bit closer, I mean. So now it's going to come like that. It's gone down in the dip again, but now it's coming up the other side. And, of course, now it's quite big, isn't it? And it's going to go right off the road like that, see? So it's gone woo, 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 straight off the end. And then if you choose to put your, so it's definitely a two-way street, no overtaking, okay? And then you could put your trees in. Look, so we could, you know this is so interesting. Look, so we can put our trees in, just like we did in the doodle sessions. 
This is so cool. I'd I'd forgotten how how long ago it is since we did this. Look, isn't that cool? So you've got that and that and that and that and that. And then the flowers, well there you go. So all these grasses can be converted into into stalks. And then it's just a question of well which flower do you fancy? What do you which flower of all the flowers that we've doodled do you fancy having a go at? And then you just you pick your flower, whichever one you fancy, and then you just add it to your your stalks. And that's that's it really. So you can use these ones, whichever ones you fancy, and you just take your time, put your heads in, put your flower heads in. As far as the trees go, if you look at my template, you'll see that I've doodled I've doodled stripes in there so you can locate the background and then darken the background. And then of course, all calling all fellow doodlers, you will know that you just take an HB pencil and then you start adding your shadow, don't you? So really good to do, really easy to do. If you want to add color, then you just take your perga liners. But it, the thing about this, this whole process, what we've done here, it's a very uh, individual process. See, once you've got the frame, and this works, can I just say this, for every single one of the frames that come with a message, you could add your landscape, your doodle art, into the center. It will just, it, every single one of them, it doesn't matter which one you take, if I could just show you the ones that I've got here. Look, you've got the, the Grant Me Serenity, so there's a landscape straight in there. Even the music one, beautiful. You could put a, a cityscape in there. Then you've got the one with the single flower. Oh, that would be perfect to put. Look, you've even got the little birds up there. So do you see that one again? The the WH Davis, what is this life if full of care? So this one is brilliant. And I'll tell you what, fellow doodlers, you see the way the frame's been done on that one? You could put your checkers in there. Absolutely gorgeous these are. And there's another landscape. You see, so without exception, every single one of these beautiful frames, you stamp them and then you put your landscape in. And then you add your colour with your perga liners or your polychromos, whichever you prefer. And you've, you've used a really basic gel press background. Of course, you can, you can add shade with your pencils if you want to, to, to hide, where am I here? Oh yeah, that's it. If you wanted to add a little bit of greenery, then you can go in like so with the flat of your pencil. I mean, we all, we all know how to do this now, don't we? We've been, we've been getting good at this. We're, um, we're getting really good at all this shading, you know, aren't we? And so you just add your shade as you want it whichever colors you can blend them as you know so you can just go in over the top of a darker color and add a little bit more to give yourself that there you go that's rapeseed that field and that's how it works it so you suddenly just with a little tiny bit of a flash of color perga liners they work really well on the ink you've created your landscape that's it flowers, rainbow, there you go, ah, NHS, wonderful, put the rainbow in, and, uh, and it's just joyful, isn't it, thank you. Absolutely beautiful, and of course, everything Barbara went through there, you can replicate with your one day special, and incidentally, all the elements that Barbara was using, again, things like the gel plate, they are all available on the website, check those out, but if you're wanting to go for your um, plates, then the details are on your screen, for your one day special, set one, Set to or the complete bundle, of course, is the way to go for these and take advantage. And don't forget, if you're going for the complete bundle, you will get that folder to store them all in as well. More from the one day special at 12. So we've got lovely Catherine here in Viva Decor. Can't wait to see what she's got planned for that hour. And then I'm looking forward to Amber Makes. I'm going to be back with the lovely, um, lovely Rebecca. And then, of course, we've got Sentimentally Yours. Loads happening.
Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. Uh, this is why I enjoy being part of the Hochanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We're both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie is particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Add Some Sparkle produce paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hochanda. The future for Adson Sparklers, we'd love to keep working with Hochanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Adson Sparkle shows on Hochanda. Well, good morning, everybody. We have a very special show for you. Viva Decor. And I can introduce you to a very special guest. It's our lovely Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello, everybody. Yes, looking forward to this. Oh, it's going to be good. I know you've been really excited yes. about it, Catherine. Catherine, now I have something just down here <laughs> that a lot of people have been waiting for. Apparently, I've sold... Oh. 
<laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said it like that. It's, it's the concrete. <laughs> I should have showed the concrete. Okay, in hindsight, that might have looked... <laughs> concrete, we won't do it that way again. Um, <laughs> I was trying to hide it. Um, so, Catherine, last time we featured the concrete, very, very popular. Extremely popular. Sold out, right? It sold out very quickly. We had yeah. some extended. That went as well. Uh -huh. I know a lot of people missed out on it. Yeah, so it is back in stock. The concrete, when you see us in action, you will realise how special it is. And something actually Catherine and I we were just chatting about, please don't think this is just like ordinary concrete that you might find on a builder's site. It is nothing of sort. It has been uh, engineered specifically yes. for craft purposes. Yep. And you will see why it's so special. So that's back. Just going to let you know if you do want to shop ahead. Uh, just got to tell you as well, everything on the show will be on extended delivery. It's going to be uh, dispatched from the 3rd of June. Uh, so, 3rd of June, everything's going to send out. Uh, right, we're going to start here. We'll go down the counter. I know what you're really waiting for, though, is to see uh, Catherine having a play. Now, starting here with some quality antique crackle. You've also got uh, clear coats in there as well, clear coat varnish in uh, gloss and matte. Eleven ninety nine is your price. So, uh, this is a beautiful uh, antique crackle. It's your anti-lock. Antique lock, I should say. Uh, 198 355, your item number. A lot, I'm really conscious of the fact, a lot of what I'm going to show you, you need to see in action. So I will skip down the counter and uh, Catherine's going to be demoing. 11.99, your price. 198 355, your item number. Uh, we've got some transfer liquid for you and you've also got the photo transfer. Now, this isn't because the first question I asked Catherine, so is it two step? It's not. Uh, each one serves a specific purpose. Twelve ninety nine is your price. You were telling me, Catherine, um, sorry to bring you back in. So the difference between using the two, so when would we use the pot? The larger pot is more for products, um, projects that are, you're going to keep inside. Yeah. The smaller bottle, very special actually, it works on porous surfaces including concrete. That's why I chose it. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, let's try it again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, no, you didn't. Uh, I didn't know we'll come back to a close-up. Uh, okay, so it will work with the, 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 the Everything on the show, Catherine has picked specifically. Uh, 999 509, your item number. Okay, we're going to move on to some Mayan pates. Uh, these are exquisite. They really are very, very nice. When we go to Catherine demonstration, she's obviously going to be using it, and she'll show you some things she's worked, with it, uh, worked on with it. The paints are excellent. In the pot, you should you have to they, you have to see them in action, and you will be. Eleven ninety nine. Uh, is this a pick and mix? We're we getting all of them. Pick and mix. For a pick and mix. Any two for eleven ninety nine. Now I think that's very good. So instantly I'm gravitating towards it's the Mayan gold. But then you've got the avocado just up there, that beautiful green. Uh, you've got uh, some magenta coming through, a slightly softer green here, the purples, the blues, go for whichever you like. But again, wait to see them in action, you will be uh, blown away. 563, four, uh, 457, your item number, 1199, your price. Do you like working with glass? Uh, we've got a, a kit uh, specifically for working with glass here. So you've got three different colorways coming through. Details on your, see on your screen, this is your glass effect. Uh, kit. So you're getting the glass effect gels in there. $14.99 is your price. Brought to you by Viva Decor. Uh, a lot going on here, and it's working, getting to work with glass. I'm sounding like a broken record, but Catherine's going to, I think you're starting with this, Catherine, right? We're going to start. Yeah, because it's one of those, look, I can hold the pot up, but you need to see it, and we are going to see it. Uh, so stick with us. 211 417, your item number. We're going to move on to some paints, Chalk effect, uh, Chalky Lux paints. I said this the other day, actually, and I still stand by it. I think what makes Ochanda such a special place is, as presenters and team, we've got to know so many of your viewers, and we kind of think, you, you, are, you are friends. We consider you friends. And the thing is, Catherine, and she's got her own group. Catherine, remind me of your group, because you've got a cool name for your group <laughs> that you just started. Yes, it's Catherine's Bleak into Unique. Bleak Transformations. Into unique. And I see the pictures you posted, and they are incredible. So this show, and the only reason I say that is Catherine was talking so passionately about these chalky paints. Now, we've had them on bigger pots. Here you've got a selection uh, of five colours for $14.99, your classic colours, if you love like, upcycling. For Catherine to bring them, and Catherine to talk so passionately, she will never say, and I do understand that we are a shopping channel, but, uh, and I know, I know I said this about Leone as well, and it stands for all the presenters here, we will never stand here talking passionately about something if we didn't genuinely feel it, because the last thing we want is for you to get something home and you think, oh, really? We just, we won't do it to you. So 14 
when you see how good these paints are and at that price, I think it's a really good buy and it is perfect for upcycling. Uh, really nice color palette too and it's funny because uh, our director Emily was totally agree with her, was saying that the color palette just works so well together. $14.99 your price, $991,900 your item number there. But they really are very, very good. I can't stress that enough. Okay, now we've got some stencils for you. Beautiful stencils, two A4 stencils, and being A4, now of course we can use these for our uh, paper crafting, but equally, if you want to take on those bigger projects, scrapbooking, yes, because you're bigger size, so you're 12 by 12s, uh, or if you like your mixed media, or if you want to go onto maybe your home decor, using the stencils uh, on your walls, you can on furniture uh, as well. 990 is your price for both, two large impact uh, stencils here. So imagine, I'm looking at this. You can take an old, ch old chest of drawers and totally breathe new life into it. And we've got so many goodies on the show uh, to help you do that. So both stencils at a great price and they're really nice. So I say I can see these with our card making. I can see these on, uh, even if you want like construction boxes, home decor, mixed media, upcycling. And that is a beauty of having that larger size. 230653, your item number. Now, I've got more stencils for you. Catherine's so good. Now, I say, everything on the show she has picked, and you really see that, because uh, what she's given you is such a nice diversity in how everything comes together. So, although we're offering you more stencils, totally different to the other stencils we've just shown you. Uh, and look at these. So we talk about large impact stencils. Now, instantly, I'm gravitating towards that home decor. Oh, now that would look fantastic for your upcycling. Whoo! Uh, and we have got the mediums to really make the most out of these. Fifteen ninety nine for stencils of this size and this quality, I think is a great buy. Uh, buy. Uh, 807-626, your item number there. Now we gave it a big billing, and it is finally here, everybody. The concrete. We are going to show you our concrete coming up. So uh, this is something, I want to put some context to the concrete. With regard to the concrete, I did a show, and I was, I was fortunate enough to do the show with Catherine. Uh, I actually did the second show, and the concrete had gone. So it was, I think we, we did show it, but throughout the show, I kept on apologizing, saying, I'm so sorry, the concrete has sold out. So we've got it back today. Get it while you still can, because we anticipate it's going to be just as busy. And the thing with the concrete, and okay, just to indicate that, we haven't even shown it to you, 10% of the stock's already gone. So uh, my advice, don't miss out on the concrete. Remember, everything's on extended delivery. It's going to be dispatched from the 3rd of June. And because of that, if it does sell out, it might mean a question of we can't bring any more back on a further extended delivery. Uh, 711055, your item number. One last thing to share with you. I think you have seen this before. So similar to the other glass effects uh, that we showed you, different colorways though. So same thing, the whole point is allowing you to get beautiful effects and finishes uh, on your glass project. So it's that glassware, and do you know what I think is very good? If you've got any old glassware or when lockdown finishes uh, and uh, shops, high streets, especially charity shops, uh, start opening up again, you can buy glassware for next to nothing and then you uh, get to make the most of it. Okay, so uh, without further ado, because I know shows like this, you don't want to see me. We all want to see Catherine, so I'm going to hand you over to lovely Catherine. Ah, oh, thank you, Yanis. We are going to start with the glass. It's going to be a two-part demonstration, actually, because I need a little bit of drying time, and I want to show you right from the beginning, but I absolutely love the glass effect. We have got it in two different colours. This is the pink one, the blossom one, and uh, just little jars, as Yanis said there, just to upcycle things that you've got. That's just a pound um, vase, glass vase there. That is just, obviously, that's had some sort of chutney or something in it. Uh, great to put your little candles in, hang in your trees. You do get different effects depending on how you work with the glass effect. So what I'm going to do is bring in, we'll just start small. Um, there are different ways you can sort of build the colour as well. I mean, if you wanted to mask off, so you get a definite stripe in between. If you want to go with a single colour, you can do. I'm going to show you how to blend the three colours that you get in the kit. And then we'll let that dry, move on to the concrete, because I think that's what everybody's been waiting for. And we'll come back to this one a little bit later to put the finishing coat on. So you do get instructions in the kit. You do get three colours. You get four of the sponges and you get your ceramic effect. Now that's the white paint. Paste. That is really important because you won't get the full effect until you apply that layer. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with 
got kind of a grey colour going on. I've got a magenta colour and I've got a rose pink as well. So you can use these in whatever combination you want. I'm just choosing to go with the grey first, the magenta in the centre and then the light pink at the top. So all I'm going to do is just, I've got this little jar here. I'm just going to run a little bit of that glaze around the edge. You don't have to be neat with it. I'm, in fact, I'm purposely kind of doing that little bit splodgy one of the sponges and you literally just stipple that on now what I love about these sponges is you get the most beautiful effect it really does look like frosted glass now you're probably thinking well I can't see it it doesn't show up it's very very subtle you will barely see anything now you can build the layers if you want more of an intense color you certainly can build the layers but you'd be surprised how much that color shows once you get the white ceramic effect on the top so what I'm going to do now is take the magenta and I'm going to do exactly the same thing but run around the top of where I've gone with the gray just go right the way around you get a nice fine nozzle on there now you do get four sponges but I'm just going to use the same one because obviously it's a cube so it's got six different sides and all I'm doing now is just stippling the magenta so it's kind of blending a little bit with the gray so you don't have to be neat about it I like the effect where it just merges together you can see the pink a little bit more probably on the camera uh, but as I say, all will become clear as we put the top layer on. So now you can see the magenta better. You can't really make out the grey, but it is there. I think you can see that frosted effect, can't you? And as that dries, it looks really, really nice. So the next layer is going to be our pale pink, the rose. And same thing again. I'm just going to run some of that around the whole of the glass. And once again, I'm going to go with my sponge and just stipple that in again just merging those colors i have got a fly buzzing around me so if it gets on camera we're gonna to have to give it a name aren't we so email names in for the fly <laughs> <laughs> studio at achanda.com it's you know it's it is definitely a it's a buzzing fly one of those really annoying ones yes um it's a blue bottle but it's not a very big one it's come to keep me company right okay so there we go now as i say doesn't look very exciting at the moment. I'm going to put that to one side to dry, but I just want to show you how easy it is to apply that. I may build up the colour a little bit later, maybe when uh, Yanis does a recap, but that's not going to take long to dry at all under the studio lights and the air conditioning. Obviously at home, depending on the temperature and the room condition, different drying times, but it's quite quick to dry, but just don't go putting your fingers in it too quickly. I would say in about 15, 20 minutes at home, you'll probably find that's dry enough to put on a second coat or go with your top coat. So I'm just gonna put the lids back onto these. We'll pop that to one side and we will come back to it. Let me just show you again the vase that I did because I did it in exactly the same way but this has obviously got the ceramic finish on it, so the white paste. Now you can get different effects depending on how you want to work with it. With this one, I kind of did two different effects on it. If you damp your sponge and then put the glaze on, the ceramic effect on, you get quite a thin layer and quite a smooth layer, but if you sort of stipple it with the sponge, you get more of a cloudy effect. So you can get and achieve different looks depending on how you work with that. But it's really, really pretty especially if you do the small jars and put your lights in and your candles in as well right <laughs> we've had a name for the fly Sylvia says the name of the fly very true annoying that is its name annoying right <laughs> <laughs> the annoying fly it has actually gone away I think we've upset it uh, right okay concrete this is what I love okay now we have used the concrete before as we said it sold out very very quickly um, you do get one and a half kilograms of the concrete powder and it is a powder it's not ready mixed for you you just need water that's all you need but there is very precise measurements now you do get a little little uh, chart on the side there telling you how many grams and how many milliliters of water which is really really good and you'll notice on the front of this as well you've got this lovely sort of um, to me it's like a dinosaur egg that's been hatched so it could be that but do you know what? I've got one that I did earlier and I learnt by mistake, so I'm going to be honest with you. This one is a little candle holder that I, I actually sit that on my table outside. I had that burning last night, actually. You can see some of the Maya gold paint in there as well. That's the avocado. 
but there's different things you can do with it. I thought they'd make great planters as well. Perhaps you've got succulent plants and you could put those in there. So how do we do it? We're going to mix the concrete first and I'm going to do quite a lot simply because I'm going to do more than just the one thing. So I've got an empty pot. Obviously, you can see how much I love this because it's all gone. Uh, I've got a new pot with some powder in it, which is very important. So I'm looking at the side of my pot here and I think probably what I'll do, I'm, I'm going to go with the 300 grams. So if I, you need a pet, some scales. What I will say is the first time I did this, I didn't have any scales. And um, so I guessed it. If you put too much powder in and not enough water, it's not going to help. And if you put too much water in, it's going to keep the concrete quite brittle. So it is important to weigh. So what I'm going to do is just weigh out my 300 grams of powder. As I say, you've got uh, one and a half kilos here. Now this 300 grams is going to go a long way. So I'm up to 150. Oh, nearly 200. We're getting there. Oh, a little bit too much. Let's see if we can get it spot on. Oh. Waste not, want not. Right, okay, so let's put that out of the way. And then you need to add your water. Now, on the chart, it tells me I need 45 millilitres of water. Um, so what I did last time, I didn't have anything that was brilliant for measuring. They didn't have the right increments on. So I found myself this little measuring jug. Isn't that really, really good? Really lovely. Uh, so I can now measure more accurately, which is brilliant. Now this goes up to 35 millilitres and I need 45. So I'm going to do the 35 and then I'm going to put another 10 in. So if I just pour this out, there's my 35. Straight into the pot and then we will go with our 10, which I've gone too much, so... <laughs> It's a good job it's not a shot glass, isn't it? <laughs> right, 10 millilitres. Okay, let me just move that jug out of the way. And then all you want to do is find an old spoon or a wooden dowel or something that you can mix with. Now, I am going to show you a number of different methods with this. That's why I've mixed 300 grams, because you'd be surprised how far it goes. So, if I show you the consistency... It is quite, it's not too runny, it's quite thick, there's still a little bit of mixing required there. It will start to harden and thicken quite quickly. Um, you, oh, yesterday was a very, very hot day, wasn't it? I wouldn't recommend working outside on a day like yesterday with your concrete if you're going to do it outside, simply because the sun would bake it too quickly and you're likely to find that the concrete cracks. So... You know, if you're going to do it outside, make sure it's not too warm and make sure that you're in the shade maybe if it is a very hot day. But inside, if you've got a glass mat, if you protect your work surface, then it's absolutely fine. Right, OK. So there's my concrete mixed. There's a couple of things I'm going to do. While it's fresh and it's quite wet, I'm going to work with one of the moulds before we move on to our little balloon um, demonstration. Now, this is one of the Zuri moulds. Now, I have used this. You can see I've used it. It's had concrete in it, but I'll tell you what, if I bring another one in, because I've not cleaned this up at all, there's another Zuri mould. They will just wash down. You can wipe them. You can put them in the dishwasher. You can just wash. I would recommend washing in soapy water uh, when you've used it with the concrete, of course, and you can clean them absolutely perfectly so you can use them again and again and again and obviously with your clays and that sort of thing as well I'm not going to worry about that one not being totally clean it doesn't matter but what I am going to do is grab some of the cement and just pop that into the mold now I can use my spoon but it's a little bit big so I'm going to go with my spatula instead and just work that into the mold now, obviously, if this was clay, you'd be using a rolling pin or your fingers to really push it down. Um, you can't do that with the concrete. Now, it, depending on the mould that you're using, there are little bits on this butterfly on the bottom of the wings there. If you allow this to dry totally and fully, you'll probably get that out, out all right. But I will say that moulds that have got very, very sort of thin bits, you might find the odd little bit 
does break when you take it out of the mould. So the moulds that are a little bit more solid are the easier ones. I have done it with um, moulds that are very fine as well. But, you know, it's a little bit of trial and error. So what I've done there, I've kind of just worked it in there, but I do want to sort of make sure it is squashed down as much as possible. And then what I'm going to do is pick the mould up and just drop it a few times. And what happens there, I think you can probably see it on the camera, the water starting to come to the top. You can see the moisture at the top. That will also help get our air bubbles, although I don't really mind those. Now, what I would suggest is scrape off any excess you can. That's why I waste it. But don't try to clean up totally. There's no need. We can, we can sort that out later. So that's, that's my little butterfly ready in the mould. Now, that you would or should need to allow 24 hours to dry to be perfectly dry don't try and get that out of the mold before now i didn't put anything into the mold before i used it you don't need to if it's a silicon mold if you're using plastic ceramic or wood then there is something i would do to that mold before putting your concrete in we'll come back to that though so i'm just going to bring in this is one of the concrete butterflies it's that same butterfly that we've just done. Let me just turn that around so you can see. Look at that. That is done with the concrete. How beautiful is that? So that means that you can use these on outdoor projects. It doesn't have to be an indoor project, which is absolutely fantastic. So if you want to make plaques for the garden, maybe you're decorating up pots and things like that, then that is going to withstand the weather. But there are, there's much more you can do with it. Right, now, I have got a half made pot here that I did earlier. Now I'm, I'm going to be totally honest about everything. The first time I got the concrete, I did this, I was so excited to do it and it worked, but it was a little bit thin. The concrete was a little bit thin. You may find you get tiny breakages if you've got either concrete's too thin. This one, I know I've done it probably too thick, but it'll still work. But how do we do this? Let me just take this off of here because this is, this is probably almost dry now. Now that's just lifted off, but what I would suggest you do, the reason that I've taken that off like that is because I had a different balloon and it deflated on its own. So I've had to, I've had to blow that up. When you do this, you won't be able to just pull that balloon out. So I'm going to show you how to remove. So I'm just going to sit that that way up. So we'll imagine that is actually stuck in there. Don't just get a pin and pop it. Take a pair of scissors and just a little nick where the neck is. There we are. And it'll go down nice and slowly and it will leave your concrete pot intact. So what else can we do with that? Let's show you how to make that first and then we'll come back to the finished one. So I'm going to grab another balloon. Let's hope it doesn't float away. Right. Now, last time I did this, I put it in my vase and it didn't fit very well. So I've found that a bowl holds that a little bit smoother. Now, what I am going to say, because I'm going to be, oh, it, it'll sit down, stay, stay. It's more annoying. I think the balloon needs to be called annoying, not the fly. Uh, <laughs> I am going to suggest you wear a pair of gloves. Now, I ran out of gloves at home, so I did put a couple of uh, sandwich bags on my hand last time, uh, which worked. Uh, the reason being, well, there's two reasons, actually. One, if you don't like to get too messy, then, of course, the gloves are going to save that. But also, because it is a concrete mix, even though it's a specialised mix, there is sort of a lime powder or something in there that, if anybody knows anything about concrete and cement, if you get it on your skin, it can cause a reaction. So you don't want that. Now, I'm hoping this hasn't set too much because it's very warm in here, which it has set quite a lot. So you shouldn't really... I would suggest mixing just the amount that you think you're going to need straight away and then mix some more as you need it. Now, I wouldn't normally suggest putting more water in, but I'm just going to add a few little drops there just to sort of moisten this up a little bit, just so I can show you the next step of my demonstration. Let's hope I've not gone too much with that now. That's just bringing it back. Let's give it a nice stir. I love getting messy. I love it. So if you don't want to get messy, get somebody else to do this bit. <laughs> right, now that's probably gone too thin now, but we're going to go with it anyway. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do, just make sure I get that little bit in the cup. You've got to make sure you get right to the bottom of the tub to get all that powder mixed in. 
Right. Now, this is a little bit runnier than it should be, but what we're going to do is put this, the concrete mix onto the balloon. I'm going to put it on the top. That's weighing it down now as well, so hopefully it won't go anywhere now. Now, you may find that it runs a little bit too much. You've got to keep an eye on it. I personally prefer it to run a little bit and find its own level. Um, it is like icing a cake, really. Now, you'll see, because I'm putting more and more weight on there, it's starting to go. I'm going to give it a little bit of a helping hand with the back of the spoon. I'm not going to make a really big bowl. Obviously, the size of the bowl will depend on how big your balloon is. So if you want to make small bowls, don't have a big balloon. If you want to make a bigger bowl, then obviously go for a larger balloon. Now, what you've got to be careful of is once the gravity takes hold and it starts to run down, actually, the bit that you're seeing there isn't, but the bit on my back bit there, if I turn that around, has run down a little bit more. So all you need to do is let that sit and keep an eye on it because where it's thinning out, just as it's drying, start to give it sort of a little bit of a nudge with your fingers. You can, you can smooth it out on the top if you like. If you smooth with your hands, it's going to bring the moisture to the top and give you a smoother finish. I don't mind that rough finish, actually. But what you want to make sure is that you haven't got those really, really thin edges because that's where it's going to be more likely to break when you burst the balloon. You might lose the other little bit. Uh, now, I'm going to leave that as it is. We'll come back to that a little bit later, but that's the process of it. So make your bowl the size that you want it. And then I'm just going to take off my gloves because I don't need those anymore. Let's bring in the one that we've made. And I'm going to use some of the Maya paint. Uh, oh, let's go for a colour. Let's go for the... Oh, let's go for this one. Right, these are absolutely gorgeous. They are water-based. Um, now, I know when Yanis went down the counter, the, the avocado is the green that I've shown you, uh, and he said there's a softer green. I thought that was also a really soft green, but actually it's called Old Silver and it's absolutely beautiful. All of the colours are stunning, but you do need to give them a stir. So each time you use them, give them a really, really good stir. And then I'm just going to get my brush. Now you can stipple with the paint. You can brush it on. You can use a sponge. You can make it look textured. You can use it with your stencils. Now what um, Viva Decor suggests is that you go with a thin coat, as I'm doing here, brush it on with a flat brush with a thin coat and when that's dry and it dries quickly then go with another coat over the top and that will give you a really nice smooth finish and it looks absolutely beautiful now this is just the one coat going on obviously it needs a second coat but it is absolutely gorgeous i've got another little sample here that i'm going to show you a couple more of the colors this is drying really, really quickly. So for impatient crafters, you don't have to worry about waiting hours and hours and hours for the paint to dry. You'll get that recoated very, very quickly. Okay, so let's just pop that to one side. And let me just, there you can see, that's one coat. It really does look like a dinosaur egg, doesn't it? Love it. Now, look at the colours there. That's a couple of the other colours. Again, this is a concrete well mold that I've used this is Azuri mold again the other butterfly that was in the mold I'll turn that to the side you can see but that's done with the concrete as well that is one coat of the Maya paint on it just one coat so I've done those sort of areas solid so you can see the, the color but obviously you can paint detailing you can do different effects uh, but it's just fabulous paint it really really is Right, we're going to let uh, Yanis give you a bit of a recap while I get ready for the next part of the demonstration and uh, we'll do more with the concrete. Mayan gold on that concrete and you see that was just one coat. The coverage when you looked in was phenomenal. Uh, okay, so we're going to get to those in just a moment. We're going to start with our antique crackle. So uh, think about antique crackle if you want to add, and we all love crackle, uh, but add that aged antique kind of feel to it. Now, not only are you getting for 11 dollars uh, the antique crackle, it is a one-step crackle, but you're also going to get the two varnishes to put over the top as well. These you could be using with the crackle uh, or just on your embellishments. So you've got your gloss and your matte. All of that for eleven ninety nine, I think is well worth consideration because if you love your paper crafting, home decor, I mean the list goes on and there's something about crackle because you can have some papers 
or you could create a background that looks great, but then adding the crackle, it just gives interest. Or maybe if you want to run it through uh, a stencil as well. Number 99, your price there, 198355, your item number. Something else that is a little bit different. Now, I need to point out, this is your, uh, you've got transfer mediums in here. The tub is for your general indoor sort of photo transfers, so your card making. But also, this little pot was added to the mix, and Catherine added it deliberately because that allows you to work with your concrete. I know. $12.99 your price. I'll let Catherine explain in a little bit more depth how that actually works. But 909, 509 your item number. Speaking of the concrete, we're not getting there yet. We've been very busy for that. We knew we would be busy for the concrete. So it's just special stuff. All right, speaking of special, the Mayan gold is phenomenal. Maya, sorry, gold is phenomenal. Absolutely incredible. Catherine, could you do me a favor? You know the gold that you just you just used? Could you just show the camera? I can. That's one coat. It needs a second coat. That is just one coat. Isn't the that amazing? It really is. Onto concrete. Ben Floor Manager read my mind. It looks like gold leaf. It does, yeah. And, th and it will go on all sorts of surfaces. I mean, we're using it on concrete, but it will work on so many different surfaces. Through your stencils as well. Yeah. I mean, we've got stencils on today yeah. to, to stencil through That'd with these nice. paints and Could blend the colours. Can you show the, the avocado as well? The no, avocado. Again, that? I'll be honest with you, I didn't put a second coat on this one. This has only had one coat on it as well. Wow. So you can see one or two little brush strokes, but I was trying to, I had to be quick for, yeah. to get this just to, so you can see it. Uh, but yes, the quality absolutely is beautiful. exceptional. Uh, look, I have to tell you that the uh, Maya paints are very busy. Uh, we don't anticipate they're going to last the full hour. It is a pick and mix. And what I would say to you, uh, the gold, yeah, we knew it. Once I saw a Catherine U use it, I thought it was going to be a popular choice. Here's the thing. At the moment, pick and mix, all the colors are available. What I would suggest, uh, actually, the gold has just gone limited. So my advice is uh, if you do want to put these in your basket do it now because you've got the choice of all the colors there's nothing worse than going to a pick and mix and your favorite color has sold out 11.99 your price you're getting two uh, item number is 563457 i'm afraid the gold's gone gold option has gone there if it is in your basket it's technical sellout do make sure to check out right now, Blossom Glass Design, we saw Catherine start her demonstration using this, and what we're going to do is see that evolve, because it does take a little bit of a time uh, to dry up, uh, or dry, I should say. $14.99, your price, you're getting the full kit here. Catherine's demonstrating it. It's no good me just showing you uh, the pots. You have to see it in action. So uh, you are getting the uh, ceramic effects, your sponges, you're also getting the glass effects in there as well. So everything to really create some uh, unique results. So we're, we're going to see that, continue that demonstration this hour. So stay tuned there. 211417, your item number. The Chalky Lux paints. Catherine couldn't speak about these highly enough. Catherine, I'm sorry, I know you're getting set for your demo, but you said something, just how passionately you're talking I, about these. I love them, What is yeah. it about the paints that you love so much? They are so strong, they'll go on multiple surfaces, and they work indoors and outdoors. So you can do different paint effects, but it's gonna withstand the weather. It's, you know, I've done pots for outside, plastic pots, ceramic pots, I've done things for the inside. I've got a couple of samples with me here, which I can show you. Mm -hmm. um, in could fact, you actually, could you just show us? That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah well, this, this, this was actually a demonstration from one of the earlier Viva Decor shows yeah. and this was one of the many coffee tins that Paula donates to me which uh -huh. that just had coffee in it yeah just, it I mean, now. you can sand it back. You can give it that distressed look as well. You can have it as a solid colour. It just works so beautifully. This plant pot was also uh, done with the same paint. Wow. I mean, I've been doing a very similar effect on furniture with, with a much more expensive chalk paint that's made for furniture. But that will also work on furniture as well. So if you've so got small pieces... It will work on your furniture as well, definitely. Yeah, photo yeah. frames. Now think about this, yeah. upcycling furniture or anything inside, but also, and this is what separates this, you can also use it outside as well. $14.99 at your price, not pick and mix. You're getting all of these fabulous colors, uh, and they are designed to really complement each other. So you've got a beautiful mix uh, of colors in there. Right, uh, we are going to move on. We've got some stencils for you. Uh, love these stencils. So big impact stencils the designs just scream you can choose to use the whole stencil you can just lift a bit of the design if you so wish as well to work in your smaller projects 990 is your price 230653 your item number there uh, having a look you're getting both of these so you're getting a bit of a, a parisian feel 
Now adding that, do you know what I think this would be great? If you ha find an old uh, uh, suitcase or uh, an old, old luggage case, imagine putting that on there. Using some of the chalky paints, giving it that sort of vintage uh, look. 990 your price, 230653 item number. Okay, so you're getting both stencils in the mix. Right, we've got another set of stencils for you. These are huge. Uh, these are large, large stencils, but beautiful stencils as well. And you can use them in a multitude of uh, ways. So think about your textures. Think about just using the uh, Maya pastes, uh, paints, I should say, going through, or your structure pastes, or spritzing. You can use it on, uh, I think, getting into like a drawer if you wanted to bend them uh, around and get them that detail in there. Fifteen ninety nine, your price, 807626, your item number. Both these lovely designs. I mean, two large, detailed stencils. I mean, the layer of detail going on here. Got little honeycomb detail, flourishes, leaves. Very nice. And even just using the edge to create a corner. So you haven't got straight edges there as well. Uh, 807 uh, 626, your item number. It's here, everybody, the concrete. And we are making a big deal out of this because it was just so incredibly popular the last time we featured it to you, to the point that we got a huge amount of stock. So we thought, look, we're gonna, we, we know how busy this has been. We're going to ensure it lasts. And even that, even that huge amount of stock, still proving to be uh, to go because half of it has gone so half the stock has gone to the concrete if you do want to get a hold of it 9.99 your price 7.11.055 your item number the difference with the concrete anything that you make you can then uh, introduce outside as well so it has got that weatherproof nature to it all right we're going to move on we have got our Mystic Morning glass paint. So exact same glass kit as we saw before, uh, but what you're getting here, different colorways. $13.99 your price, 880-153 your item number. Now, just going to remind you of the seven-day savers, very popular. We've got some watercolor cardstock for you. Have a look at the price. 50 sheets, 300 GSM, 12 60. Are you kidding? For watercolor cardstock, that is incredible. Uh, eight, uh, sorry, 082084, your item number. Just going to show you what else we've got. Uh, the craft scissors, two pairs of craft scissors, oak wood uh, craft scissors, two packs, 13.98 your price. I've also got a, a platinum uh, coating to them. I think I'm right in saying that. I'm pulling it from my memory bank. Uh, 073882, your item number. Okay, so we're going to continue our demonstrations, and I do believe, uh, do get your questions in, because I think we have had a few questions come in for Catherine, studio at hochander.com. Yeah, I've just, you know, I've just popped some little plants in my little, uh, my little concrete pot there. Do you know, these, you could sit out on a patio table, you can use them inside as well. That is a real plant, by the way, and this one isn't, if you're wondering. Um, but, do you know, if I, it does look real, actually. Let me just take those bits out. I've probably dropped too much soil in here now but I did as Janice was talking I did actually let me just tip that out add another coat of paint so you can see a much smoother finish if I didn't have all the uh, <laughs> all the soil was in there so really really lovely remember you can put that on all sorts of surfaces now there is another hour for Viva Decor today so we're not going to get every single item used in this hour so do tune in at two o'clock for things like the transfer medium uh, the paints and that sort of thing as well but because I've still got my concrete mix here and I am conscious that this was um, drying out a little bit but for the next demonstration although I said you shouldn't really add more water there is exceptions and the next one is definitely an exception so what I'm going to do I've got just a, this had coleslaw in it um, I'm just going to spoon a little bit I've still got plenty of concrete left in there a little bit of concrete into there uh, I've <laughs> stupidly I've washed my sponge in my spare water so I've got pink water now uh, but I'm just going to add a little bit of water into this one because I do want it quite runny let me just find a brush now we've had a question in uh, someone's asking it's from Jeanette actually she's asking how do you attach the concrete pieces to items for outdoors I would suggest the probably the best way when I'm demoing I tend to use things just for speed and quickness but if I was doing it properly for outside and you can get hold of this very very easily I would go for one of those tubes of the grip the grip fill type stuff or the outdoor adhesive that 
that seals stone, concrete, that sort of thing, and I would use that. It grips really quickly, and it also holds very, very strongly indeed. So very easy to pick that up from um, a DIY store or your local handyman's, you know, or even sometimes supermarkets have it now as well. So very easy to get hold of. Right, now I've put some water in there. I'm just going to add a little bit more concrete because I think I made it a bit too watery. But the reason I want this watery is because I'm going to make some concrete flowers. Now, because I've coated these, and you could add your Maya paints to this as well, I've just got a little bit of the old silver and the avocado on there. Oh, we've only got one option of the Maya gold left. What option have we got left, Emily? Magenta, which is this pink we haven't got much left if you want that you need to get it quickly if that's the only option you'll have to get two magentas right okay but how did I do the flowers well you can use any sort of paper flowers even silk flowers would work I found these as I was sorting out some stock in my my unit and uh, I think it's supposed to be some sort of sort of orchid or lily or something but because it's wired I thought well that's that's really good because it's gonna hold its shape so all I've done there is mix a concrete mix and I'm just dipping the flower in and using a, a brush just to coat that now because I'm adding moisture and the weight of the concrete it is going to sort of weigh down the petals a little bit so that's why it works really really well if you've got the wired petals because it's still going to hold the shape now I would coat both sides just so that you've got that extra strength especially if you're going to put this onto something that's going outside as well now what you can also do, if you go with quite a thin coat, as I've done there, and that's covered very, very quickly, you could let that dry. The best way of doing it, actually, is to bend the wire and hang it up. I had it hanging on hanging baskets when I did it before. Uh, just missed a little bit there. And then you could go in, a, you know, once it's dry, and give it a second coat so it's really, really solid, because that is a paper flower under there. Then, of course, from there, you can add your paints, your different finishes. Seeing as we haven't got much of the Maya left, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop that out of the way. Oh, we might have some good news. I will bear with me. I'm waiting for some information. Um, right what we'll do seeing as i'm waiting on information let's have a look at the chalky paints i'm going to do much more with these in the next hour let's just go with what color shall we go with we'll go with this cream one now when you get these they will individually be sealed these are great value i've got to say because you're getting five pots and one pot's going to go a long long way now they are water-based uh, they are very very tough when they're dry but you do need to give them a good stir each time you use them, give them a really good stir because you will find it looks like it's got sort of an oily top to it. And I can feel there as I'm stirring it round how much thicker that is at the bottom. So really, really, really good stir. And then you're ready to go. Now, as with most paints, I would recommend a couple of coats. You can do different finishes. I'll be doing that later on in the second show. So we'll, we will, as I say, do much more with this. But let me just grab a brush and we'll pick a little bit of this cream up and I'll just start to paint on the concrete so if you wanted to mix your colors you could do uh, don't forget we've got the crackle glaze on the show as well so if you want that sort of vintage effect you can have that as well but this because it's a paint that can be used outdoor not only have I got the concrete onto the flower but now I'm adding more protection with the paint as well just paint these petals in now I would if I was doing this properly I would probably add a little bit of detail with another color into the petals kind of bring some color from the inside out maybe paint the center a different color but just for speed I'm just going to apply this just in one coat for now it is quite quick drying but again obviously it depends on the humidity it depends on um, the weather you know how much sunlight there is I would never ever advise painting anything in the heat that we had yesterday in bright sunlight it will just whether it's furniture whether it's home decor pieces whether it's you know your projects sun can be great for drying but it can over dry and it can cause things to crack right okay now we've got some more Maya just a little bit we've got have we got all colors Emily then we've got right there's some back in stock 
a little bit more of a delay for shipping. So these are the, the Maya paints. 5th of June. Oh, it's only two days. 5th of June. Right, we always have to check if we can get more because these come from Germany. So, uh, you know, we can't just say we can give you more. Now, I've got another piece of concrete or something that I've been pre preparing or I did prepare at home that I'm going to kind of work on throughout. But I, I did think, you know, that flower attached maybe to that plaque. I'll probably take some of the, the wire off. I don't know if you can see that there. We can work on this. I'll show you how I did that in a second. But also, just to go back to the concrete again, even teeny tiny moulds. Let me just bring in the one I'm referring to. If you were watching the Prima one day special this week, it wasn't this one on this time, but Anthony had a lovely Seashore Treasures, which is a great mould. This one was on the previous one, so many of you will have this. I've made with the concrete, even the little butterflies, the little bees, even the little legs are there, look. Uh, the clock faces, so if you mix the concrete correctly and you allow it to dry, you can create all sorts of different embellishments, even with fine detail. Now, I don't worry about odd things breaking or little cracks or bubbles here and there, because I think it adds to that vintage look, which I really like. Um, so I'm going to kind of build on this throughout the show. You can, it's still drying out a little bit, but what this is, if I just turn it around... I was dismantling some old fence panels that were rotten at the bottom, breaking the wood up, and I thought, I like my recycling, I like my upcycling, what can I do with that? So I've actually just glued together with a glue gun, um, I would use the grip fill if I was doing it properly, some bits of wood, and then I've coated over the top with the concrete. So the way I did that, because I put some markings in it as well, I wanted it to look a little bit more like bark. So if I bring in got a little bit of concrete left in here. I'll get this before it's dried too much. Probably haven't got enough to cover the whole thing, but I can always go back in afterwards if I want to mix some more. So basically all I've done is cover. Now if you wanted to make a mould out of wood, so if you wanted to make a framework, maybe a, a square or a rectangle, and you wanted to be able to remove the concrete, from that mould, there is a method which I'm going to quickly show you, hopefully. I think I've got time. Right, so all I've done with the wood there is cover with some of the concrete. Now, if I was to sort of tap that down, you can see the water coming to the surface again, so that's going to give you a smoother finish. Um, I would let that dry a little bit, and then all I did was mark into it. It's a bit too wet to do this, really, but just mark into it, kind of make some knots and then some sort of some grain lines. It is a little bit wet, this. You need to just give it a few minutes so that it will hold those markings in there. If I tip that up, it's probably going to run together. But that's how I did the bark effect. I'm going to smooth it out, and well, I'll do that properly when it's dried off a little bit, just so you can see that in the later show. Uh, now, when it comes to ceramic, when it comes to plastic or wood, if you want to use something as a mould, and this is just a little ceramic dish that I've got, all you need is vegetable oil. Let me just find a brush. Just going to pour a little bit in. So a bit of vegetable oil. And then you just coat the sides of the mould and the bottom of the mould so it's got something that's going to allow you just to sort of remove that concrete afterwards. So I don't know if you can see, you can see the shine there, can't you? So just give it a nice light coating. Um, right, you can also work with rubber stamps. I did this on the last show and I, I've realised since I've got here, I've obviously lo left a box of samples at home because I did have some rubber stamps and some bits that I'd done, but not to worry. I'm, I'm just going to, I think I've got a little one under the counter. Just bear with me. I have, it's here. It's in my box. Oh, it is a little one as well. It's a little butterfly. Right, okay, if you've got polymer stamps, I'm just going to put this little tiny butterfly in the corner of my pot there. I'm going to pinch the concrete that's on here, actually, just to borrow that back. Let me just put that back in the pot. We'll do this properly later. We'll do it again as another demonstration. I'll make some fresh concrete for that one. Right, okay, so all you need to do, let me just get this out. Just 
pop your concrete over the top. I'm just going to fill in that and then I will tilt it forward so you can see. Now I have probably got enough in there. I don't want to, all right, I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit. Let me just show you there so you can see the concrete in there. I just need to sort of smooth it out a little bit so I'm not disturbing that rubber stamp underneath. So you can fill up as much as you want, but a little shape like this or a circular lid or anything you've got around the home, you don't have to go out and buy special things. Use lids, use bottle tops, use, um, oh, you can cover so many things, it's unbelievable. But that would then create, when it's dry, could be a little coaster actually, but you're going to get the imprint of that mould. Now I can't promise this is going to be dry enough, you should leave it 24 hours, so I'm probably not going to be able to do this properly for 2 o'clock, but we'll see under the heat of the, the studio. I did have a couple of these done, and as I say I've left them at home. Typical me, never mind. Right, okay. Now I know this is ceramic, but I am just going to give it a little tap again just to make sure that finds its level. It's going to bring that water to the surface and it's also going to help disperse any bubbles that might be in there. Now when that is set, I'll be able to get that out of the ceramic dish and I'll be easily able to remove that little polymer stamp which will leave the imprint into the concrete. So you can use your rubber stamps, you can use your polymer stamps, and you can actually have an imprint, imprint into your concrete as well. So you can do some really, really good techniques. The only thing you've got to watch for, and I still haven't worked this out, I wanted to try it, and because I've forgotten my box of count now, if you've got stamps with wording on, would that mean the wording would be back to front? Need to test that. Just think about that. Because when you stamp, you turn up, you turn it that way, don't you? You look at a stamp, isn't your wording back to front and you're putting your concrete, I've got to find a stamp, I've got to find a stamp and do it. Email in, anybody who's done it. Right, okay. <laughs> got a couple of minutes left. We've still got some mayor in stock now then, have we? Apart, the gold has gone again, oh dear. Right, all the others are still available. Right, okay, let's, oh, I can't use gold. What should we do? Let's go for the magenta was the one that was the one, last one hanging in wasn't it so let's let's have a look at the magenta oh just look at these colors that is absolutely beautiful now i have used this so it's already had a stir but i would i would make sure you give it a stir every time you use it just to make sure now this is concrete again let me just go with one coat directly onto the concrete so you can see i wasn't cheating this is one coat and I'm only using quite a fine brush. So if you wanted to do detail, if you wanted to pick out detail and do different colours, you certainly could do. Uh, don't forget, you can also use this with your stencils. I'm going to try and bring in at 2 o'clock anything that I've not used in this show. So that would be the transfer medium, um, the crackle. Um, oh, we didn't finish the glass jar, did we? We need to finish the glass jar, so come back and watch that. Uh, what else have we got? Gloss, you've got gloss there as well, which will protect your surfaces when they're, they're also complete. But just to go with that one colour, with one coat, onto concrete, which is porous, that is a beautiful, beautiful finish. Absolutely gorgeous. Water-based, remember, as well, so you can easily just wash out your brushes. There we go. Right, we haven't got long left. Uh, I've, I've got to tidy up and let Julia in this set, I think. But don't forget to come back at 2 o'clock so we can be using much more. I will definitely work with the paints. We'll do, I've brought some tins with me uh, so we can use those. Uh, the glass, I will finish, as I say. We'll just, we'll just do as much as we can at 2 o'clock. So please do come back. I'm going to just throw back to Yanis before we go. Thank you very much. What a great hour. Good job, Catherine. Loved Thank it. You. you can see how much you're enjoying it as well. Oh, I love it. I love yeah. it. I, and I love getting messy. Yeah. And uh, quick mention of your group that you want everyone to join. Catherine's Bleak into Unique Transformations. I've had a look and some of the stuff is incredible. <laughs> it's such a nice group. Uh, okay, so we've got lots going on the show today. Catherine will be returning at two. Do make sure to tune in. I really hope you love this now. This sums up why Hochandra is such a special place because we bring you the goodies. But it's not just 
a shopping TV channel because we are passionate about sharing, you, uh, sharing the demonstrations and we talk about being a family atmosphere and I stand by that because there is a great atmosphere here and you are a major part of that. Uh, we've got a great, uh, for some great hours ahead. Uh, I'm going to be giving you a recap of what's coming up in just a moment. Uh, don't go anywhere. If you do want to recap the show though, you can always do it on our website or use the Hochanda app. So another our brand new company, Amber Makes uh, Panels. Do not miss out. After that, we've got Sentimentally Yours. And then we will be once again getting groovy with Clarity, our one day special. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to a Chanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on a Chanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy Bee Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is gonna take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So 
I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hello there and welcome back. Well, I've been really looking forward to this. Uh, um, Yanis is here at 7 o'clock this morning with a brand new company, Amber Makes, and the fabulous Rebecca, who is one half of the company. And we'll be meeting Rebecca again with some demonstrations. Good morning. It's still morning, Rebecca. How are you doing? Good right? morning. Lovely to see you again. And you <laughs> too. Um, and I have to say, an amazing um, range of products that uh, have been brought in by the lovely Rebecca. Um, but it's a two-part team. So I'm going to ask Rebecca if that's okay, just to tell you a little bit about um, Amber Makes and how it came to be and as I say it's kind of a, a teamwork effect. It is well it's Amber Makes well it's formed of Amy and Rebecca that's how the name works so um, we both love craft we're good friends um, Amy can draw and I can sew so between the two of us it works really well so I come up with the designs and the creation and I write the instructions because my background is in sewing and technical I've written for magazines and worked on craft magazines Amy's background is in surface pattern design and illustration. So we decided we wanted to make some kits for people that would make it easy for them to sew if they've never sewn before, but also provide a bit of uniqueness and just stretch the possibilities for more intermediate sews. So we decided the best way to do that was to print fabric panels because then you can print whatever you like, which is brilliant. So yeah. for some of the kits we've got, all the pieces are printed and you just cut round them. So if you're a complete beginner, this is really good for you. The instructions are very comprehensive. I've put lots of little walkthrough pictures in and tips so they're easy to understand. And then Amy's done a beautiful job of illustrating them. So with the um, Thatch Cottage doorstop kit, she's illustrated thatch and bricks and walls. And um, that's the whole basis behind the company is that we want you to learn to sew with us or stretch your skills if you're more an intermediate sewer. I love it. I love it. And of course, it's kind of that marriage of the two coming together. I mean, the artwork is incredible, I have to say. Um, and this first set, we've got the details popping up on the screen. Had a busy hour at seven o'clock this morning, and we've been busy between the hours as well. And lots of you have been taking advantage. Now, you saw the panel. I just held that up a few moments ago. You've got lots of different segments in there for all your different projects. Now, how many projects are in here? Six projects. Wow. That is good value for money. I've got some of the finished projects here. So you can decide which of those panels you're using for which of those pro um, projects. But the beauty is you've got your fabulous feature panel, as you can see here, a little bit of free motion work going on there around the eyes. And then, of course, the backing fabric, because of that surface pattern, um, that uh, design aspect that we've been chatting about just, you have got your backing fabric coordinating absolutely perfectly. Then other projects that you might want to do, a little bit of applique, as you can see, I love this. It looks like he's popping out the pocket. <laughs> it almost looks like he needs a little kind of free motion speech bubble. <laughs> could be saying anything popping out of there. Smaller little bags as well. So you could be making like little makeup bags with these if you want to go even smaller. You could be creating purses with those elements in there. Oh, look at those gorgeous blue eyes. What about this? Maybe making a little friend for, if you've got a cat, you could be making this with a bit of catnip in there, couldn't you actually? Make a little friend for them. And then of course you have got the fabulous bag you could be creating as one of those projects. And even if you're simply taking the artwork, stretching it over a canvas and creating your own piece of imagery there, you can see there. £29.99, and pence. we'll get that panel to you. Been popular with regard to the thatched cottage, I'll tell you about that one in a few moments, but we've got extended delivery on these, which is the, was it the 30th of May did you say then? Yeah, 30th of May. So I uh, love these. Really pretty designs. And of course, the full instructions, comprehensive instructions, because as Rebecca said there, she knows how to put those instructions together to make sure that you are getting the most out of your fabric. Love it. There you go. Very popular item, right? 643090. But of course, the thatched cottage that we spoke of a few moments ago. We're going to concentrate on that for a few moments. And this is fabulous because you can make this into kind of a few different bits, variations with regards to these. So the thatched cottage, if I just bring the thatched cottage in, you can see there you've got this has actually been created as a doorstop, which I think is a brilliant title. It's got a little weight in there. Um, and uh, you've got pebbles in the bottom of this particular one. So you can see there that wonderful detail. The detail that you've got 
lot on this has been created with regard to the um, the windows there and they're all printed and everything has been done on that panel which you can then uh, obviously craft with that is the key thing but it comes to you as a panel again so shall I take you through that well I think I must because it's been a popular item let me pop that down next to the little pin cushion and let me tell you about these because you've got two projects with regards to this panel here so you've got your panel so you've had, oh, it's a long panel. Salvage to salvage there, as you can see. Oh, stretch, stretch out just about. Thank goodness it wasn't a bigger cottage because we'd be struggling then. Um, but look at the detail, the print quality from this is incredible. Absolutely amazing. I mean, down to the detail of the thatch there, looks fabulous. It looks like um, you uh, obviously you've got your PK pieces, but rather than you cutting out your window panes and then doing all the little tiny windows in there, it is all printed there. And you can see they're very detailed, so there's no guesswork involved with this. Needless to say, it comes with full instructions again. And of course, you can decide whether you're going to be making it into a um, door stopper, as we've got here. It could be, I know how creative you guys are at home. Some of you might be making this, um, almost making it into a, um, kind of a, a lid where you're lifting up the thatch cottage, turning it into a little sewing box, maybe. The little pink cushion, I mean, this is so adorable. I love it. Fabulous. And of course, then if you're wanting to, you can do a little bit of hand embroidery, maybe introducing some additional flowers if you fancy doing so. So there you go, £24.99, 372679 nine, if you're wanting to get adva uh, take advantage of that particular bundle. Well, the attic window, what can I tell you about these? These have proved to be so, so popular. And it's such a dramatic result with these as well. Over a third of the stock has gone of these. I mean, this is just absolutely astounding, the result, isn't it? I'm going to pop these down so you can have a really good look at this imagery be behind us. And, I mean, this style, I've always admired this style of quilting. But, of course, it's a tricky one because the key thing is, what are you going to be putting in those panels? And I have to say, Rebecca, you've picked some fabulous artwork. They're just my favourite scenes. Amy and I together said, well, what windows do we like? So we had a search around and we wanted to bring a bit of summer into your life. So we chose things that were summery and then we chose the Venice view because, well, I love Venice and a little bit of Italy in your life. I so it. it's just to give you a bit of summeriness. I mean, literally, you can't see, well, with the TV, obviously, we're bringing you the best quality that we can. But it does literally look like that is a branch that is going across your window very very three dimensional it almost looks like you can get hold of it doesn't it but it's not very very clever and that's down to the quality of not only the artwork that has been used but also the print of the fabric i mean that is astounding it really does look like you can put your hand through the, the window pane and touch it absolutely beautiful now we've got other designs that we can share with you as well perhaps you fancy a trip to venice well we can't really go to venice at the moment can we but you can when you're creating quilts and here again the imagery absolutely amazing i love it you can almost smell the ice cream can't you and then we've got one more option which is a beautiful one featuring the gorgeous lupins i think they're yeah they are lupins i can see on your screen now beautiful absolutely gorgeous designs as well in fact shall i show you the panel because the panel because it's a good time to show you this because when it comes to you it doesn't actually create um obviously it's not just a whole panel and it's all done you are going to stitch it together um, and uh, all you need to do is include or add in should i say the fabric that you're going to need for your window pane so these are all the panels that you're going to be using to create obviously your window scene so you can see there you've got your complete image there um, this one is the lupins obviously it could be venice it could be um, the gorgeous view through the window that we saw with the cherry blossom but you're getting your panel like so and obviously you're going to get the cat and all the different elements that you need just need to add in your window pane and then the fabric that you need for that is all detailed within the instructions and again all the cut marks everything that you need to know will be included and um, the lupins one i love the purple in this one and also you'll notice there's some detail on the corners as well the flying geese the flying geese fabric is included because of course the key thing is getting that right shade of purple and so on for each of those different options so 29 pounds and 99 pence being your price on these 914 
4444 is the key thing with regards to these. Um, so, yeah, if you fancy getting hold of those, do pop them into your basket. We're going to be popping down and seeing Rebecca in a little while. But before that, can I just tell you about some of the other deals that we've got on the show? Because we've got the most incredible deal with regards to your weight. Now, these were very, very popular. So much so, especially with the, the six-pack that we've got here, um, which is your six weights on the smallest scale. They're the regular size ones that you've got. In fact, oh, there you go. I didn't think I'd got a set for a moment there. You are going to get all six of these. Now, the details on your screen are for your choices. So the first set that you've got is your regular size, and you've got your six within here, good sizes. You literally pull these out like so, um, and they've got a good weight to them, and these are quite often an alternative for using pins. Pins on delicate fabrics, things like PVC, oil cloth, um, leather, faux leather, you don't want to actually pin in detail. And of course, some things like organza as well, because and satin especially, because you can, if you put a pin through and it's a bit of a blunt pin, then you can kind of get that shot running through your fabric and it can ruin it. You've got your second set, which is where you get to get a set of four. This particular one is your uh, next size up. So we've got your medium with these ones. So you get four of those because, of course, they are on the larger scale. The last set being your large ones, brilliant to go for. Now, check out the price on these. You would normally be paying nearly £40 for each one of these sets, £39 and 49p. You're saving £29 and 30p. That is phenomenal value. So the saving that you get is tremendous. And it does mean that if you wanted to go for all three sets, you're still paying less than the original price of one of them. So if you want to go for all three, they're on the same item number, no additional post and packing. But um, do be aware that the smallest ones, as I say, that we've got there, that is the one that's most vulnerable. So if you're wanting to go for those, the sixth set, then you need to go for it sooner rather than later. Um, 972285 is the key thing. Now, of course, if you want to place your order for these or anything else, then do jump onto the website. There's loads for you to peruse there. We've also got some additional bits and pieces, things like the cutting mats. This is a brilliant cutting mat, huge. Come to the rotary cutter and spare blades, as you can see. Those are your fabbies there, as you can see. Um, you've got your little iron that is available as well. That's on the website. Oh, we've got choices for this one. So you've got your pink. Oh, three choices. Oh, so we have. Oh, now. Oh, that's a tricky one. Which do you go for? Or do you go for multiples? Because the key thing is you might keep one mat for when you're doing things like your wadding. Because, of course, it can get caught in the mat. Um, we've got scissors as well from Mill Shop Online. You'll find those on the website. If you're looking for inspiration via books, and do treat yourself to that mini iron as well. Because that mini iron is brilliant value for money. So, yes, pop that one into your basket um, and take advantage. But, of course, the key thing is the wonderful panels that um, have been created for us to craft with. Of course, the lovely... Um, Rebecca and uh, Amy um, coming together as a, a fusion of ideas, bringing us some wonderful results. Perfect. So we're going to go um, and have a little look in just a few moments. Details on your screen, um, obviously anything you're wanting to get hold of. Bear in mind we're looking at extended dis um, dispatch. So uh, yes, what we've got up on the screen at the moment, I'm not too sure what we've got. But I'll give you all the numbers and the figures and everything. Oh, that's the iron. It's the iron, yeah. Non-stick, I should have been a clue, shouldn't it, with the non-stick there. So, yeah, anyway, if you want any iron, the details are on your screen. Rebecca, what are you up to? Dig me out of this hole and get myself into it. <laughs> well, let's talk about cats then. So, on the cat panel, there are, I know you've already showed it, but I'll get mine out. There are six different projects. But what we've done is Amy has illustrated four cats, the most popular. So, there's a black cat, a tabby cat, a black and white cat, and a ginger cat. And the way that I designed the projects and the instructions. Oh, I need to set it my way, don't I? I keep forgetting. <laughs> um, the way that I've designed the projects and the instructions is you can choose what cat you use for what, because they're all the same size. So I made sure that the bag and the cushion and the picture use the same size cat. So the first thing you have to do is decide which project you're going to make first and which cat you like the most. So I'm going to start off with the cushion and my favourite cat is the tabby cat. Oh, do you have a cat yourself, Rebecca? Well, I did have a cat. Oh. I used to have a cat. I've now got a dog. Oh. But I did have a cat. And it was just like this. Oh, it was a really? tabby cat. Oh, what was his name? He was oh. called Bertie. 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 Oh. Bertie the cat. And he looked very much like this. Oh, that's so, nice. Um, he was very lovely, but I have a dog now. So first of all, decide which cat you want. In the instructions, it tells you about cutting them out because... The most important thing with when you've got square rectangular pieces is getting the 
um, size is accurate. So we printed them a little bit bigger than you need, and then you just cut them to size. It's different with the cottage kit because they're smaller pieces and they're shaped. You just cut round them. But for the cats, you just got to cut it to size. So the first thing you do is you cut your cat out. Now on the panel as well are the strips to go around the edges and these are printed and again you need to just trim them to size and they've been printed in such a way that you first of all you put the you cut them out and you have a top strip then the center panel I mean this is so easy because because of six projects I thought you didn't really want to spend a lot of time and once you've learned this technique you can use it for other things so once you've got the instructions and you've got the kit and you've made it, you can use these instructions for your own cushions. So you put the top and the bottom strips and you sew those into place. And can you see the cats are running horizontally? Once oh, that's now, do we need to be careful about the, your fabric so you haven't got upside down cats at this stage? Well, yes, that's why I always lay it out first. Okay. Because, yes, I have done that before. Or I mean, it's not a terrible look, but... As long as you're consistent, I suppose. But it would be annoying. It would, yes. <laughs> it would be annoying. I would be on if that you'd one. made the whole cushion and you put it on your sofa and you go, those cats are upside down. <laughs> just get it right at the beginning. So I always do that. Just lay it out. And you can label them as well, just right on the back or something, top, bottom, sides. So you've got your top strips and your bottom strips, and then you have side strips. And obviously the cats are running the correct way. So this is part of the beauty of why Amy and I chose to do printed fabric because then you can have what you want you don't have to buy extra fabric because if you wanted to if you had a repeat print with cats facing the right way you'd need quite a lot of fabric to be able to cut this but because we printed the fabric we can just print the little pieces we need so it saves you money and you get more value for what's in your kit when you cut to come to cutting out your panel i mean obviously you've got your choices you can cut them out with your scissors could you actually cut them with a rotary cutter yeah well i cut everything lines? with a rotary cutter yeah i and mean you can cut them with scissors yeah you can draw in pencil or erasable pen on your panel and then cut along it i always use a rotary cutter because i do a lot of patchwork and quilting and i find it more accurate yeah that's where those um, weights come in useful isn't it when you're cutting with your rotary cutter and yes you can hold it all flat i mean i would say always press your panel before you start so it's nice and flat and then yes use your rotary cutter and you can weight it down but you you get neater edges with the rotary cutter but if you haven't got one don't worry you can use scissors okay so what you do to start with is you, now I've laid them out. Now it looks like that doesn't fit, doesn't it? It looks like I've got it wrong, mm. but it isn't. It's because what we're going to do is we're going to sew the top in place, put a pin it in first. Okay. And what sort of seam allowance do we need to um, think about? On the, well, it's all in the instructions, but for ah. the cushions, it's a one centimetre seam allowance. Okay. And I was saying in the previous hour, it's really tricky. I had to make a decision. Am I going to go metric or am I going to go imperial? Yes. <laughs> and it is really difficult. But I decided that with the patchwork, so for the attic windows where it probably appeals more to traditional patchworkers, people who've got rotary cutting equipment, machine set up with Imperial. I've used Imperial for the patchwork because that's what people are more used to. But when it comes to the homeware, so like cushions and the cottage, I've used metric. And I know that sounds confusing, but I was trying to work out the best way of giving people no, what they you, needed. I think you've probably got it right there, to be honest, because quite often projects like this, if you've just um, kind of discovered sewing, I know lots of people have been buying sewing machines during um, over the last kind of nine weeks or so, um, then, uh, yeah, you might not be familiar with quarter inch, and, of course, the math's involved. So, yeah, using centimetres, I think, makes sense. So as long as you use it, and, you know, if your sewing machine plate is measured, mine is in metric, some people's are in imperial, it's fine. All you do is you draw on the fabric the size of the seam allowance you want to do and then just you can put a piece of tape on your um, foot plate of your machine to the exact same seam allowance and run across that so don't worry if your machine is set up for one or the other but I've done it in metric but don't mix them up because if you do it'll go it'll all go wrong because the, all the instructions are done and it's all measured so it all adds up together so once you've um, pinned the top and bottom strip obviously I'm using a one centimeter seam allowance here all you need to do is sew that in place. Really simple. Now, if you're begin a beginning stitcher and you're worried about doing straight seams, you think, oh, I can't do that, draw the seam allowance on first using a pencil on the wrong side or an erasable pen. Now, if you draw that onto your fabric, it's much easier to sew along that. By the time you've finished all of these six projects and you've made all of your cats, you will be a perfect straight line sewer. Because that's all you need to be able to do, yes, is sew yeah. in a straight line and go backwards and forwards so that your seams don't come undone. And I think what you've done with these is you've made it um, 
well, it's achievable. Um, straight lines, one of the simplest things to stitch, but of course, fabulous cat cushion is going to be one of the most incredible projects that you could be creating. And I love it because what we're working on at the moment, if you have just joined us, um, Rebecca and Amy um, have brought together a, a company, um, Amber Makes, and the first item that was shared with you is this panel, and you've got six different projects that you're going to be able to create with these. The project that we're looking at being made at the moment by Rebecca is the centre pan panel um, using, well, obviously on this occasion, she's using the one that looks a little bit like her Bertie. Um, but around the edge, you've got the surface fabric that has been created, and that's the same fabric that will be used in the back of your cushion as well. This is the fabric that's all included within your panel. And you've got enough there to do six different projects, but you can interchange. So if you wanted to use the, the black cat instead, then you could do quite easily. And um, the black cat there, it's like Cindy. We used to have a cat called Cindy. She was originally <laughs> feral. She does look a bit, that not, there we go, let's flatten that down, looks a bit better there. Uh, but uh, yeah, there you go, Cindy was our cat. You mentioned a dog as well, what, what type of dog have you got? I've got a Cocker Spaniel. Oh. Mm. A puppy. Oh, they're lively, aren't they? Very, very, she's beautiful and I love her very oh, much. adorable. <laughs> <laughs> so now look, I've sewn the top and the bottom on. You remember I said, oh look, they look a bit big, but they don't now. Because of the seam allowances, they fit. So all you have to do is... I'm, I'm not pressing this to just speed, but just no, that's fine. make sure that you get an iron and press the seams either to one side or open. It's up to you, just so they fit. And now you can see, when, always cut everything out before you start. It's just easy. Get the cutting out of the way while you're really concentrating and thinking about it. And then all you have to do is pin these side strips into place all the way down. Make sure that you, when you're pinning, make sure that you match up. Let me turn that round. The raw edges. This is one edge, there's the other. Make sure they're right sides together. Then your seam allowance will be accurate. If well, you've there got you go, you can see it fits like magic now. It comes together perfectly. Yeah. I think that's the key thing when you, you are, um, you're not a, a, a confident, so you might be thinking to yourself, oh, I need to trim that down. And, and then you suddenly find at a later stage that you shouldn't have trimmed it down because it no longer fits. <laughs> and just make sure, you know, if you get your seam allowances right, and if you are new, draw them onto your fabric first. Honestly, Good tip. by the time you've done 10 long seams, you will be a perfect straight stitcher. Now we are very, very busy for um, the Clouder of Cats panel that we've been chatting about. 20% of the stock has gone just while um, Rebecca's popping those pins in place and getting ready to stitch her seam. Let me show you that panel again because you're getting loads as you can see here. The pieces that Rebecca has been working with are down in one of the bottom corners. They're already sized. You don't have to lay a pattern down. You don't have to do any measuring. Just simply cut around that outside edge. And as you heard from Rebecca, if you've just got a good pair of fabric scissors, they will help you. If you've not then the mill shop online ones can be personally recommended by me because they are amazing and of course you've got six projects on there that you could be crafting with as well um, it's a brilliant set because you've got the cushion that we're working on at the moment obviously you've got things like the bag that we touched on um, we've got little purses you could be creating of course you can take these panels into whatever project you're wanting but the instructions are included within the um, the, uh, the obviously the pattern setup that you've got here but of course you can use them however you like now if you do want those scissors let me show you you what we've got now we've got the 10 inch mill shop online scissors these are brilliant i use these personally and they will be brilliant size for actually cutting out your panels not too long but not too short kind of like goldilocks scissors oh my goodness freedom members discounted down to 21 pounds and 24p would be rude not to um 279 at 324 if you are wanting those there are more scissors from mill shop online and they'll find them on the website you've got eight inch as well as 12 inch to 